going to be a blast to watch and a blast to commentate Phoenix. I agree. I am looking forward to this match. Today we've got Poke Attacks Attorney versus Iron versus Furist. Uh, we are excited to see what these runners do. I think this will be a really close race. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what will happen. I know that um, all of these runners have been putting a lot of time in. Uh, and I'm really excited to see where this race goes. I think we are just getting going. Uh, I Oh my god, were we muted? Did everybody miss my wonderful intro where I dunked on Dynam so hard? <laughs> yeah, obligatory OBS preview comments from <laughs> from Phoenix. Uh, but <laughs> we are, we're, well, I'm sure that there will be plenty of jabs to be made. Uh, I'll just repeat it. I said hello in good time zones, everyone, except to those who run off of OBS preview. Uh, so, and yes. I couldn't even get through that before Dynam started laughing. So that's how you know it's going to be a good run. Anyway, oh, yeah. we got one girl won, and oh, I saw a girl Pika and a girl Fury from sir, a, a girl Fury Eevee. I missed Poke Taxes. Gotcha. Well, well, we'll be able to see it in it's probably a two minutes or so. Ah, solid, solid diversity all around. We love it. Excellent. Uh, okay, so we're just going to get into this game. Um, for those of you that haven't watched one of these runs before, uh, hi, congrats on finding us. It's only like the 28th race in this tournament so far. Um, something like that. Something like Who's that. We're playing, we're playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and we're having a whole big fun time racing it. Three-way races in all of this year's tournament formats as much as possible. Um, the goal of the game is to get eight badges and run our way to the Elite Four and beat Champ. A um, little bit different from your traditional Pokemon game. This is a remake of Pokemon Yellow, but uh, the difference in this one is that the gyms actually have requirements to order to enter. The most important being Koga's Gym, where you have to catch 50 different Pokemon and register them in your decks. Uh, so that's what the majority of this run is routed around. The best places to catch those 50 Pokemon. Yeah, you'll see in every runner's upper left-hand corner, you'll see a current one out of 50. We technically haven't caught our starter Pokemon yet between Pikachu and Eevee, uh, but that will be remedied in no less than a minute. Um, and Sounds these runners good. will go throughout the game just catching basically as many Pokemon as they can in a very efficient manner in order to get to uh, that Koga Gym requirement of 50 Pokemon. Yes, and um, the best part about this run is because it's on the Switch, and it was one of the earlier Switch games, uh, that means that you use Joy-Cons to do a lot of things. In fact, you use the Joy-Cons motion controls. Uh, so that's super fun. Uh, honestly, it's not that bad. Um, you just gotta make sure that you calibrate your Joy-Cons every once in a while, and uh, you'll get most of the throws you aim for. So there's there's a skill component in this run that, uh, that kind of just, you know, keeps it fresh when you run a lot of Pokemon games. Yeah, technically you could use handheld mode, but we currently do not have the technology to to format that for a race environment. Uh, but you wouldn't want to play in handheld mode because you don't get enough XP anyway. But here you are really our starter catches. Uh, looks like we've got... Uh, I didn't catch Iron's CP, so I can't tell whether... is 26, so 26. there's that. Right. Um, so for Pikachu only, this isn't something that works for Eevee, um, you get a difference in CP depending on the nature of the Pikachu. If the Pikachu is 27 CP, it is a neutral nature, and if it's 26, it's not neutral. And if it's not neutral, you have more of a chance of it being not a good nature. For Pikachu, you just don't want minus attack or minus special attack. So we'll have to roll the dice for Iron and Pokétax, and for Fury, actually, and we'll see what will happen. We're going to keep exactly. an eye out on those because natures will really affect the first half of the game. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to see something along the lines of, well, definitely not minus attack. Uh, minus special attack for Pikachu, you can kind of get away with if you have good enough experience during the mid game. You only lose like a turn on a couple of fights. Uh, but yeah, definitely don't want to see anything dampering our offenses if we can at all help it. These no. runners, do you have backup? Uh, in case that they get a quote-unquote unrunnable star, they do have backups available that they can load in that are right when they pick up the star at the lab. So at most, it's about like a 35-second uh, load for a backup. So not yes. too bad in the scope of things. If Let's have a look. If Fury, I'm curious if our runners will check. You know, Fury doesn't care. Just going to go through it regardless. So is Iron. Iron we'll also see. doesn't care. Uh, and I don't, I think these are, okay, Pokétex is checking, what have we got? We've got Naive, I believe Ooh. that's minus special defense? 
That is minus special defense plus speed, which is totally uh -huh. fine. Notably, it also has a likes to thrash about characteristic. Ooh. And characteristics in this game uh, will determine our the, basically the chance that our awakening values, AVs, I don't know where the term go power came from, but it can return from once That's it came. That's not real. Nope, go power does not exist. Uh, but the likes about likes to thrash about characteristic helps a lot with uh, the chance for rolling attack awakening values. So hopefully we'll be able to see poke attacks rack up some of that attack stat in the in the early to mid game. Yes, it would be really good to see that. Um, for Eevee, uh, since I'm more familiar with that game, I know that you know you don't want to see minus attack, minus special attack, or minus speed in Eevee's case. Pikachu is mm -hmm. faster than Eevee in this game. Um, that said, minus attack can kind of be remedied because a lot of the, the ranges are kind of the same. Is if, if you just get a no AV neutral pick. Pikachu, I almost said Pikachu, Eevee, uh, and it, it's not that's that much different if you're just running like a high experience neutral nature. Uh, so, you know, you're hoping to see something that isn't a minus, but also if you see it, it's not the end of the world. In particular in Eevee, you can fix a bad Eevee with just getting a lot of experience on your catches. Right, so I hear that experience in Eevee version is is king, is the, yes. is the comment that I hear people say all the time. And in Pikachu, Nido is king. Yes, Nido is king. Nido is also a queen, uh, depending is. on queen. what shows up on Route 10 anyway. Yeah, happy we'll Pride see Month. when we get there. But that's a long, long time from now. The first thing we have to do is we actually have to get to the first gym, uh, which is in Pewter City. Uh, and the gym requirement for the Pewter City gym is that you have to catch either a water type or a grass type before you get to the gym. Uh, hey, I, hey Dynam, can you tell me what water types are available between now and the Pewter City gym? Uh, there's, um, uh, there's, uh, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's none, for those who don't know. Um, I don't know why the, the game says, hey, you can have a water type. I guess they think that you might have a friend. Um, so who knows, uh, what, what's gonna happen with that one. Uh, but in every, each game you can catch, uh, in Eevee a Bellsprout, in Oddish a Pikachu, a Pikachu? No, you get a Pikachu in Pikachu. Uh, in Pikachu, you get this an Oddish. <laughs> yeah, and you can also, yeah. if you're really lucky, yeah. find a Bubble Store in each version. Good old, good old Frick. Did we ever good determine where Frick. Frick came from? I've asked exactly? multiple times, and no one's really sure. I hear that May knows, but I have not asked her about it. I have asked May, and she's like, I think it's this, but I can't tell for sure. Anyway, Frick is a myth. Frick is a scam. No, don't it's not. You it. love seeing a Frick. You just don't want to okay, catch it all the time. That's true. All right, the runners are off. Now they've got Pokeballs, but ideally, as long as they don't run into anything, we're not going to catch anything until at the earliest, right before we enter the forest. Some runners may opt to catch a low-level bug uh, outside of the forest because on, on that Route 2 area, everything is actually guaranteed to get in the ball. Uh, and that can be kind of useful because in this early stage of the game, not everything is actually guaranteed, depending on your throws and if you if you use or don't use a raspberry. So some runners might opt to pick that up. It doesn't really lose you much in the way of experience. Uh, it just makes the catches a little bit more consistent. Yeah, it ha so happens that within the first two routes, there is what's called a newbie modifier where your catch rate is... Uh, increased by 1.5 times. So basically, yeah, anything that you catch is all but assured to get in the ball, which is really nice for consistency. A little bit hard on XP, uh, but it does help for that extra consistency at the cost of a couple seconds here and there. So the reason we're saying that EXP is important, uh, particularly for Brock's gym, uh, so Pikachu won't have this problem. They're gonna catch an Oddish and use that to get through Brock, but Eevee means to get themselves a little bit of help in the form of the move Double Kick. Double Kick will be super effective against Brock's rock types, uh, but we don't learn it until level 10. So it's basically all but required for Eevee to get Double Kick and level 10 before you get to Brock. Uh, so we're really gonna be looking out for experience. Pikachu can spawn in Viridian Forest, so Fury's gonna really try and catch one of those. And we're gonna hope to see as many glowing Pokemon as possible. I don't know, Dynam, if you want to explain what glowing Pokemon are. Yeah, so glowing Pokemon you'll see in the overworld as we enter Viridian Forest that Pokemon will have either a blue or a... I was going through all of the colors in Roy G. Biv in my head, red aura around them. 
uh, they will denote either a small Pokemon or a large Pokemon, respectively. And those Pokemon will grant you more experience. More experience is always nice at the stage in the game. Like you said, Eevee needs to get to level 10, so the more experience that you can slap on these stars, the better. Uh, there is also a slight chance, we think that it's about 10% for a Pokemon to either be really, really small or really, really big. And that will increase the multiplier for catch, or the experience multiplier, by way more than if it was just a glowing Pokemon. So no, I'm sure we'll I'm... we'll come across some super size things. Let's see this a level up from Fury. Thing. Uh, we oh. got the Speed AV. That looked at the very least. Th the attack and special attack looked pretty okay. I don't know, Chad, help me out. I missed the Pikachu's and to see what they got on their level ups. Um, but that's that either looked neutral or strange to me for Fury. Let's see here. I do have my AV spreadsheet open, so I'm going to try and keep tabs on our uh, star oh, AV cycles as we Urgatus go through. says it's naughty, which you love to Ooh, see. Very nice. Naughty being a plus attack and minus special defense. Eevee already naturally has a ton of special defense, so having a little bit of a hit to it won't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Attack will be very nice for spamming things like headbutt, sizzly slide, uh, Whatever other physical moves that Eevee has, I don't run Eevee, I run Pika. I'm gonna be honest, I think that's it. Good to know. Because it, it's, it matches with the bigger stat of the Eeveelution, and I, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, I think the other one that's physical is Leafeon, and we don't use that move. So I think that might be it. Rest in peace. Well, double Edge, but we're not talking about Double Edge. All right, looks like Iron is first to the lure. Phoenix, if you want to tack on why lures are so dang important in this game and to the speed run. Of course. So not only do lures um, help increase the, the spawn rate of Pokemon, um, they also increase the level. So every route will have a range of levels at which Pokemon can spawn. What a lure does is it actually sets the level that all Pokemon that are under the lure spawn at one above that level. So in the forest, without a lure, the maximum level things can be is six. But you saw on Fury's screen that really feisty Pikachu is level seven. So all Pokemon under the lure will spawn at level seven. That got in the ball. Let's go. Speaking of supersized Pokemon, I'm pretty sure the first poke that Iron caught was uh, was a Wumbo. It's a big whatever it was. Holy Ooh, crap. Notably, uh, Iron's Pikachu is plus special attack minus special defense. Oh, that's uh, not bad. So that is solid that for Iron. It's a glowing Beedrill. Don't do it, Fury. That'd be bad. Good old Rash Pikas. You love to see it. We, we love a good plus special attack Pika. I, I hear that plus attack is better for Pika, but we'll still take a plus special attack. Exactly. Plus attack for Pika is very nice in the earlier portions of the game where you're relying on things like Zippy Zap and Headbutt. And then plus special attack will be very nice once Pika gets past level 21 and learns Thunderbolt at that time. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Poke Attacks. We're, we're going to have to wait one more level to see what Poke Attacks' nature is. Oh, uh, um, we already checked Poke Attack's nature. It is naive. Oh, uh, right. Minus yeah. special defense plus speed. So thankfully, all three of our runners have runnable natures. Furious and Irons are slightly more runnable than Poke Attacks, but at the very least, we've got a, a solid even start between the three of them. Hey, you never know. With good AVs, none of it'll matter. Exactly. And we do have likes to thrash about on Poke Attacks, so it could just be a wannabe, like, wannabe naughty Pikachu. It could be. Let's see here. So I <laughs> I see that uh, Pokatax is on the way out of uh, the forest here. Hasn't marked anything on his tracker yet. I think just hasn't gotten around to it. A lot of runners uh, in this early stage of the game will just kind of do it when they're fighting, because I think a lot of these fights you just kind of mash A. Um, so we're seeing that Fury is evolving Caterpie right now, and Iron is leaving forest with exactly what you want. Um, from the Pikachu side of things. Um, but it looks like Fury is still looking for a Weedle. Where's the Weedle? And Pokedex is currently doing what we love to call Route 2 Roulette and looking oh, for good. Okay. any particular spawn. Ah, Oddish in the upper right-hand corner of the grass patch. Finally got it. Uh, Almost the fullest of possible. Yeah, one reset is totally good for an Oddish. This Oddish comes in at level 9 because it's on Route 2 instead of the level 7 in Forest. So if you're a level 7 forest, you catch an Oddish, you might need a little bit of extra XP to get Oddish up to snuff in order to one-hit KO 
the Onyx that's on Brock's team a little bit later. Uh, but level 9 Otis should be more than good. And I just saw, right as Fury went to go fight this Metapod trainer, a Weedle finally spawned on the way out of the forest. So that'll be good. We won't be short of bug line, which is bad, because that would be three whole catches Fury would have missed out on. Don't want that. I think that happened to, was it Etiquette earlier this round? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Nobody, it was fine. Yeah, it was, it was fine. It, it worked out in the end. Ditto in, uh, by... Shoutouts to Furious, by the way, for implementing frick. the... Ooh, Frick! Love to see Frick. We love uh, Frick! In in response to the comment about Edda's uh, interesting cash route, I think Ditto... Uh, what was it? Pokeball, Pokeball, nice. Is Did a 23% you know that Pokeball, catch. Yeah, I, was, I remember looking that up right when, it, um, right when it happened. I was like, oh, well, you know, it got in, though. So there you go. Uh, still not the most crazy catch route we've seen this round. Uh, yesterday, Jay Tattles had, uh, what was it? It was Kangaskhan. Uh, oh, now I'm forgetting. It was so wild. Kangaskhan, Magmar, Ditto, and oh, Ninetales. Right. That was the other oh thing. Oh my gosh. Should have just pivoted to 69 Tails. <laughs> That's what I at said. At point, honestly. He was uh, hoping I also just, looking, was looking for, for... Ooh. Oh, looking that for it? that glowing rat instead of uh -huh. the... The uh, non glowing rat. Let's see which I one like he ends play. up picking up. Uh, unfortunately, ran into the other rat, so a little less experience this time around. Also, unfortunately, misses the circle. Not entirely great. Yeah, um, Iron went for more experience catch. and didn't quite get there, but that's okay. Iron can still catch Raticate later, and in fact, he'll want to. Either that or you just won't have rat at all. Um, the big rat, rather, uh, because this, this rat attack is way too far away from evolving. Um, but. It's okay, because Raticate is like an EXP bomb that's really akin to Graveler, who will also be trying to catch a little bit later in the run. Uh, so so we'll take it. Um, Iron now, with the most catches at the moment, just going to evolve this Pokemon real quick and then go to Brock, who just like Fury is doing right now. Obviously, catching Pokemon and evolving Pokemon take a little bit of time. Uh, exclamation point pace in the chat uh, for the, the whole copy pasta with that. Uh, but generally speaking, roughly give or take 30 to 35 seconds for every additional catch. So if you really think in the grand scheme of things, like even though one person might be ahead in terms of story progression, one person might actually be ahead in terms of overall catches. And you just don't really see that on the screen up until uh, the two hour mark, give or take. Yeah, uh, right until we fight Blaine thereabouts. Um, so we're not really gonna like fully know who's ahead until then, but we'll be able to tell based on who's walked the furthest versus who's got the most Pokemon. And right here we see the the juxtaposition between Pika and Eevee for this fight. Eevee will spam double kick and then probably hit tail up on the Onyx first to soften up a little bit in order to take down Brock, whereas Otis just really spams Absorb because Absorb is so special move and rock pokemon in general just don't have a lot of good special defense so otis being level nine here it means that it might not ko the onyx outright but at the very least it will be a guaranteed two turn um yeah it um it, it helps even it out a little bit where in eevee you're mostly like losing a turn when you compare it to a pikachu runner um eevee doesn't need a whole lot of help from friends but pikachu does throughout the speed run oddish is the first of many cases where pikachu is going to have a friend try and do some fights for it because pikachu uh doesn't have a whole lot of defense and it's not really good in handling grass types or ground types and there's a few mm. of those that come up in the run so pikachu will need a couple friends along the way yeah unfortunately there is no sprinkler system installed in brock's gym in this game so there's no option to to do that with pika here no, but wouldn't that be so cool if, like, that thing that you learned in the anime that would have possibly transferred over when you were playing the games as a kid actually worked? I definitely was confused as a kid. If only Game Freak could just, like, you know, implement things in Pokemon a la D&D, &D, and you can just, like, oh, I inspect the sprinkler. Hmm. Can I have my Pikachu use Thundershock on it? That's basically how the anime works, and it's rad as heck. So, I, I mean, I respect it, but, you know, game mechanics just getting in the way of everything else. Um, I remember in Pokemon Yellow when I was a kid, I went ham and just, like, super leveled my Pikachu until it learned Slam and Double Team. And then I just evasion stalled my way through the rock types. It was kind of hilarious that I thought about that as a little kid. Wait, is Slam the only thing that you have to, like, hit against rock types because that's a 75% accurate move. <laughs> yeah, that fight took a while, Dynam. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, you know, respect. 
full respect. Yeah, because I just didn't want to use... I wanted to do it like the anime, where I used my Pikachu, and I'm like, no, we're doing this. I have this Nidorino in the back, but I don't care. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> That's a good way. <laughs> We're moving on to Route 3, right before we get into the to Mount Moon, which is another really big section of the run where we're looking for as many catches as possible to hit the next level requirement, which is 15, since you need a level 15 Pokemon to get into Misty's Gym. Um, we're going to see if we can pick up a, an extra catch or two on this route. Look, a Sandshrew just spawned behind Pokétax, so that's oh, pretty little cool. Little Sandy. Little Sandy. Heck yeah. Yeah, and um, Fury not seeing anything, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, we'll find some good stuff in Mount Moon. Uh, we're also going to pick up this Magikarp that costs uh, 500 Poké Dollars and has since, like, Generation 1. So, I mean, Poké Inflation like, honestly, is pretty up there. Yeah, yeah, not not too bad overall in the scheme of things. When you consider that's been, what, 20-something-odd years since? 25-ish years or something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. This Magikarp is just the equivalent of, like, the Costco hot dog and soda combo. Oh my really gosh, it is. It. Yeah, I want that uh, fan art now of a Magikarp Costco hot dog. I anyway. Don't, I don't really want fish in my hot dog, thank you very much. I, I'd try it once. Lobster rolls exist, right? Anyway. Um, so we're in Mountain Moon now. Um, <laughs> both versions are going to be looking for a Geodude. Uh, we're going to be looking for a Paris, if we can find one, and a Clefairy. Um, so those are the Pokemon that you'll most likely see in Mount Moon. Um, that doesn't mean you won't see some other Pokemon, and maybe there will be some uh, large pink things that our runners will try to catch. Hopefully a, a more rotund large pink thing than a winged large pink thing in terms What's of What's your rate. favorite Mount Moon pink thing? My favorite Mount Moon pink thing... Ooh, between the three, honestly, like, in, just in terms of favorite, Clefable is definitely the cutest out of the three. But you always just want to see Chansey whenever you can, if you're on a speed run. That's that's not bad, yeah. Because um, Chansey, and talk about experience bombs, that's just Chansey in a nutshell. Uh, no matter where you find it, it'll give you a ton of experience, and sometimes that's to your detriment if you have too many Pokemon in the party. Yeah, that magic card comes in at level five, and we do not want that in our party when we see a glowing bonjour show up right in no. front of us. You were the one that found canonical bonjour, is that right? I I was. Um, I think one of my runs last year showed like six ch chances showed up during the course of the run, three in mansion, and then I think Teapot had the idea to fit it into like the you know the. Mo Bonjour meme of like the polar bear sticking its head out of the oh yeah out of the snow. That's what it was. That's right. And and that's how Bonjour was born. Yeah, we've had a couple runs this tournament. I think it was Mocha Jones' run earlier this round that had like four chances. So they're they're kind of becoming a meme, especially since the current EV world record has a very large chancy spawn on Route Six that just hyper inflated the experience on the starter for the rest of the game. You can do a lot of really silly things with your starter when when it's level 25 to 28 and you're just at like boat rival. Oh yeah. Very, very uh, silly ranges that you I can love over-experienced starters. It just makes things very silly. Okay, we are seeing another version difference where the P Pikachu runners are going to fight the Sandshrew trainer before they go downstairs and get the nugget in their catches. Um, the reason for that is because it's a Sandshrew. As mentioned, Pikachu's not really good at fighting Sandshrews. So we want to do the menu now instead of where Eevee did it to teach Headbutt. Um, so instead of doing it at the start of Mount Moon, we're going to do it at the end of Mount Moon, go down these stairs, and hope that everything's all good and we won't need this Oddish again for a little while. Yeah, notably, I noticed that way back when Pokétax was fighting Onix, Oddish's speed hit uh, 12 at level 10, which would have speed tied the Sandshrew uh, on this particular fight. But thanks to the Sandshrew that Pokétax did catch on uh, Route 3, it leveled up, which means that it probably gained another speed point to guarantee the outspeed on the Sandshrew. Otherwise, you kind of risk eating sand, and sand is not a good thing to eat, generally speaking. No, I think sand attack and middle oh, too big glowing pick things. Oh my oh, goodness! My. And a bunch of bats. I don't think I don't think Poke attacks can pass up these two glowing Clefairy and Clefable. Clefable. Yeah, the Clefable, I could see it. 
I think just for the pleasure, we'd probably see it. Yeah, considering that Pokétax is does not have a plus offensive nature, uh, might consider going it for it just to get the extra experience to get a little bit that of. That was uh, robbed motion controls. What the oh heck? Oh my gosh, classic motion control moment. I think if you're Pokétax, you do like legitimately start thinking about getting that glowing fable to to fix your experience from now you probably do throw. yeah because that wasn't yeah that was nothing special as far as clefairy goes did iron get a breakout on you dude what the heck yeah what iron scam? unfortunately missed the excellent on the on the oh, good cycle boo. are we sure iron isn't playing off obs preview he mentioned that he was having some like joy con delays you know uh, you know you know <laughs> Yeah, but Pokétax is in a good position right now to just straight up deposit his two uh, glowing, or not glowing, uh, Butterfree and Beedrill right now. Definitely want Butterfree out of the party before you catch anything big in terms of experience because it learns three powder moves at level 13. Uh, if you decide to keep it around to level 16, it learns Psybeam, which can be helpful in niche scenarios, question mark. Uh, but most of the time you'll want to get that out of your party as ASAP as possible. Lots of rocks on this floor for iron. Um, might go for this Paris. Yeah, okay. It looks like he was yeah. going to give up. And then something finally spawned that was useful. Yeah, going for the Paris that was not underneath the Geo, dude. Flashbacks to when he was trying to grab a glowing oh. rat. Fury despawned the Chansey that showed up. Oh, no. Not the not the despawning of the pink thing. We don't like to see that. Also, I think Pokétax is still on the Evo menu from the first time. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, two Evos. Okay, let's see if he goes for the Clefable. It uh, looks like maybe not. Uh, probably going to pick up this Geodude first just to get his catch count up and then do a full deposit for the Clefable if I had Did to Did we guess. see a Paris in this room as well? I don't recall if I've seen one for Poketax quite yet. I think it would be good if he could find one. Right. Um, just because I think that everyone else has seen that already and Pokétax's catch count is a little lower than everybody else's. That said, it doesn't really matter. Everyone's still got like 50 or more planned at the moment. Um, and it's always Fury that leaves Rock Tunnel at like really, really low catch counts. So we're probably okay. Yeah, totally fine. Yeah, honestly, you could probably even, if Pokétax sees a Paris, you could probably deposit now, grab the Clefable, and then grab the Paris afterward. Because Clefable is a stone evolution, it won't learn any moves on level up just because of how. Uh, like those Gen 1 mechanics used to work. These Zubats are up to get our runners today. Oh, there's the Paris. There's and the Paris. Going for the and, ooh, first. bold decision. Interesting. Full. Yeah, maybe not what I would have done. I think I'm, I think I'm with you where I would have tried to go for um, the full deposit before attempting this. Um, that, that said, you know, Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe yeah, it'll, it'll will miss the first throw. Well, it it get in. 68%. Shake, 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 and it let's is go. In. Let's how big it was. All right, let's see that experience across the entire party. 1525. That's pretty normal, I think. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, All right. oh. Well, Pokétax oh. is going to be here for a little bit. Well, so Pokétax is going to be uh, denying moves and uh, getting, well, no Evos, just just a lot of powders. Yeah, lots of powders. Clefairy learns Double Slap at 12. Geodude learns Stealth Rock at 12. Uh, Beedrill learns Rage at 13. And uh, now would be a good time to get up and use the restroom, everybody. Grab a quick snack. Looks like some water. Um, sheep started a hangman too, if you want to look at that instead. Uh, Furious did end up catching a Clefairy, so everything that uh, Furious needs to grab um, in Moon, Eevee is now, at level 14. Now so Fury has the low amount enough. of catches. What am I, what did, what did Fury not get? Uh, let's take a look at uh, possibly no bird or rat on two. I know Iron Probably caught a rat on two. Pokétax getting Clefairy, Clefable. Okay, so it looks like Fury actually isn't missing anything. It just looks like Pokétax and Iron caught, got some bonuses. Because um, I know that Pokétax is about to go catch that Paris right now. Yep, there mm -hmm. it is. Um, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, honestly, to get out of that, that menu. <laughs> Yeah, for every level up that you acquire, it's two seconds, and then for every move learn alongside level up, it is four seconds. So definitely, definitely not 
bad necessarily. Like the experience will definitely help poke attacks out, especially on Nugget Bridge, where you definitely want to try to be one shotting everything that you can to avoid poison or the <laughs> possibility of poison. Poke attacks is something I forgot to deposit in the chat and say, so, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oop. Oopsie. That's okay. Um, that'll happen. Poke Attacks now taking this opportunity to deposit just in case uh, the third glowing pink thing shows up and he is not ready for it. Or goes for an onyx or something. I have, I'm sure somebody has already caught an onyx in in this tournament. I just don't think I've None's remember coming one. to mind. Oh, I'm getting the fairy. That's nice. Yeah, solid. Ups that catch count by one. Love to see it. Oh, I didn't realize that for Hangman, apostrophes could be blanks. That's that's hard. Anyway. It's like uh, saying that Crisis caught one in Rock Tunnel. Bold move, because that is like a 50% cash at best. Wow, Rock Tunnel. That is a bold move. Okay, well, here we are. Don't do that, folks. It's not, it's not worth it. All right, and Fury is actually under the first double battle of the run, Jesse and James. Um, double battles are in this run when, you're, when your opponent also has two Pokemon are just done by yourself. Um, whereas there is, you know, you, you see it coming out when we do catches, um, the support trainer that everyone's got, your little boyfriend or girlfriend that you take with you on adventures. Um, and that lets you just either like in a 1v1, lets you get an extra turn in and an extra Pokemon to beat up the other one with or it gives you uh, a catch bonus when you're doing your throws. Yeah, so for Ooh, even here, just be spamming one headbutt. Shot. Is that normally not a one shot? At or... 14, it is not guaranteed. Okay, got it. That's a lot of, that was an I mean, attack AV. I think Fury's just kind of cracked. Yeah, I mean, it is a naughty EV, so it does have way more attack than normal, which is probably carrying this fight. Unfortunately, it does get the poison on EV. Uh, status in this game is annoying, not just because you have to heal it, but because the game takes sometimes will take a little bit longer to process turns if a Pokemon is status, that we would call status lag in this game. So we want to get rid of that as soon as possible. But Fury's yeah, you the first can... out of Rock or There we moon. go. At a rock tunnel moon. Yep. Rock tunnel moon. There's only two caves in the run, and they're Mount Moon and Rock Tunnel. And yep, I get I get them backwards all the time too. All right, last chance for some bonus sponsor for Just birds. Nothing but birds. Just a bunch of birds. All right, well that's okay. Fury is now going to go and get the the fancy moves for those who haven't played Let's Go before. Um, the Pikachu gets some bonus moves based off of like the surfing Pikachu, the flying Pikachu, and just like a really cool move for being Pikachu. Uh, and here we're going to get Zippy Zap for the Pikachu. And for Eevee, um, the more of the like bigger towns in in Kanto you go to, the more Eevee Lucian specific moves you unlock. So you've got Bouncy Bubble for Vaporeon, Sizzly Slide for Flareon, and Buzzy Buzz for Jolteon. They're pretty handy. Um, they give us a lot of really good type coverage for Eevee, and they all do really cool status effects. So very handy for this kind of run. Um, I'm gonna go into my notes and take a look at those AVs that Fury has, because I think he's got a ton of attack and no special attack. That, that would honestly make sense. At least the plus, the ton of attack part anyway. Uh, the the other cool thing about these like little move trainers is that if you happen to teach over your uh, one of your special moves, say slam over Zippy Zap, uh, you can in fact relearn Zippy Zap at a later like Pokemon Center, like in Celadon, and you'll yes. be totally fine. Which is which is very nice um, because it, it sucks if you only get one chance to learn those moves. Uh, so I don't think Fury has Min special attack, but it's close. So uh, not a good range on this gold team we're about to see here. Yeah, seeing in chat, uh, plus attack with six AVs in attack. Uh, For real? Oh my goodness. That okay. is... Oh, all right, I do not know what EV can do with that much attack. You can probably do some ridiculous like headbutt double edge strats if you get enough XP. Uh, I hope Fury that's... goes for that because that's spicy. Gotcha. That's a I lot of AVs. I imagine at some point, like, there is such a thing probably as, like, too much attack or too this much This is probably attack. that. Yeah, this is probably too much attack. 
um, especially because when we get to the end of um, e the EV section, we're going to be using a lot more special moves to get through all of the poison types that we're going to see. Um, so you would have liked to see a little bit more special attack. Um, so it's a little bit awkward, um, but, you know, it, you get what you get when you get natures and you're in a race and you don't want to reset. So here we are. Pokétax and Iron's getting players. out of... Leaving. Yay! Yeah. Uh, I know yeah. Pokétax caught a Shrew and Iron caught a Mankey. Yeah. Let's see, Let's see if, if they look for the others. Pokétax picking like up the spare for... Great Balls. And Iron pausing for a second. For... Is he not level 15? I did not check his experience there. I guess this we're about to find out. the only reason why you would go for a Spiro here, especially yeah. waiting for the cycle on the bird. I don't want to catch a Firo on Route 10. That sounds bad. It's not as bad as people say that it is. I've done really? it. JT has done it. Furious has done it. Does you it just, just move have, around a lot? It just, you just need to get to get stay in the ball. That's all. It's that easy. Uh, okay, yeah. So Iron was yeah, not yet level go. 15. Um, must have had some rough luck with the catch circles. Something's up with Iron's controllers. Re recalibrate your Joy-Cons, folks. Sometimes mm -hmm. it, they, the game, if you use them too much, it's just like, I don't know how to function anymore. Yeah, recalibrate your Joy-Con. Make sure that you're not playing off of OBS Preview if you can help it. You know, the works. Yep. Yeah, we just learned that that's a thing you shouldn't do, and when that happens, suddenly, you go a lot faster. Or like in last round, if you have your digital copy saved to your Switch drive instead of your external. Oh. Pokétax entering Misty's gym as Furious is leaving it. Furious entering the Nugget Bridge section of, of the run, where we... One of the more boring sections of the run. We play Hangman, we run ads, we... We play copy things. Exactly. Yeah. How's everybody doing? Um, we've got, I guess, two more races in this round now. Um, but I think this is one of the more exciting races left, since I believe all of these runners are on... What is it, two points? I don't have it open. Yeah, let me, let me pull that up. I don't think I've actually opened the pots bracket. Uh, so the way that the tournament works is that four points each. Okay, so this is pretty spicy. So the way that this works is that the winner of the race gets three points. Um, the second place person either gets one or two points, depending on whether their time is faster or slower than the median. And then the person in third gets zero points. Um, we're thinking that going into round four, seven points means that you have a decent shot if you win your race of getting in to the final nine for semifinals. Um, so basically it's a win and fight in for the next round in this particular race. So there is actually a little bit on the line today. Um, so all of our runners hopefully on their A game got a good sleep last night. Um, you know, prayed to the RNG gods so they don't get 12 turns on Archer. Uh, speaking of RNG gods, Iron also having a plus attack nature and six AVs in attack. That's uh, not real. real enemy. Uh, that is what Iron has said in chat. Um, wow. There are some really interesting things that you can do with Pikachu uh, with that much attack. Uh, I almost feel Iron... bad for Pokétex. <laughs> Pokétex is just going through it. Uh, Pokétex is just having a time. You just run. I mean, I think Pokétex does have the highest experience out of all three of our runners at this point in time, which is definitely good for him. Yeah. Yeah, Iron is Rash, uh, which is odd because you'd expect to see many more special attack AVs than attack AVs, but this Pika just wants to be like the best all-rounder it can possibly be. So it's possible that the characteristic was also likes to thrash about um, that we saw in Poke Attacks, or that's just how AV works sometimes. Um, yeah. we, we, I think it's what, there's eight slots, two of which are based on your characteristic, and the rest of them mm -hmm. are either for your, your base stats from HP to speed, um, but with your nature, you replace the minus with the plus. That um, is exactly so, correct. Yeah, so if it was likes to thrash about for our one of our runners, and they had um, a neutral attack nature, it would be three out of eight chance to get an attack AV on a level up. Uh, and that's a decent chance, it's almost half. So... That might be why we're seeing so many. Or sometimes you just get really unlucky and you get the one out of eight ten times. Maybe. The sky's the yeah. limit, honestly. And by the sky, I mean you can the only ten get levels ten that you get exactly. in a cycle. Yeah, because every yep. ten levels, the cycle repeats. It's great. 
Yeah, they're all minus spadef. I just realized that. That's I, not. Yeah, that's. Wait a second. Okay, special defense. Who needs? Was it, it a full not... moon last night? Uh, couldn't tell you. I was well, inside you, and I was asleep. You, you were, uh, you were not out partying last night like I was. Oops. I, I, I did not stay up to see the. Uh, the match that was scheduled uh, for, I believe, like 12 hours early ended up getting postponed to later today slash tonight. Uh, so there'll be more Let's Go action even in the near future. You know, when I got home, I actually contemplated it because I was only like an hour off of like staying up and being like, well, I should just watch it now. But I made the right call and decided to go to sleep. So yeah, it was it was either stay up and watch and play Lord of the Rings online or, uh, or go to sleep. Really Those deep in the wins. archives there, eh, Denim? Listen, all right, I get fixated on things very easily. No, it's okay. I'm I'm trying to finish a backlog, and I'm over here just, like, mainlining a g the game that I'm playing right now, so. Fair enough. It happens. Um, I got a Pokemon alike called Nexamon Extinction, so. Ooh, Nexamon. That's like Digimon or Pokemon or... Or Cassette uh, Beasts. Or cassette piece. Ta da. Uh, Ta -da. Here on Pokétax's screen, you'll see uh, he brought out Oddish. Uh, Sandshrew cannot, like, Sandshrew has an uh, incredible amount of defense, and Pikachu can only two hit it at best without a crit and really high levels. So we take this turn to just heal Pikachu with a potion for, for the rest of the section through Rock Tunnel, and Oddish can just one shot it easily with the Sandshrew. We'll see if Iron decides to do the same thing, or if you risk risk sand. Yeah, we'll have to. I just did you see the support trader on Pokétax's screen just fly off into the screen there? Like my planet needs me. Yep. Goodbye. Farewell. Oh, I do love that they just eat themselves out of existence whenever there's something story relevant happening. It's like so you isekai yourself into the game, and then you also have a, your imaginary girlfriend that that does the same to you all the time. Go figure. I, I've been looking at a lot of true co-op speedruns recently, and just the amount of times that the second controller gets summoned in, like after battles or through loading zones is absolutely, it's absolutely yeah. a thing. Uh, also, reminder to our runners that they should be uh, speedrunning and not playing Hangman. Just saying. <laughs> Which one of you? It was iron. I will. It was iron. It was iron. See, this is karma. You play hangman while you're trying to do do a speed run, and you get poisoned by poison sting. Yeah, or you get your Joy Cons off because you're lying about not playing an OBS preview. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm we see you. We see you. Well, that's almost. We're almost out of Nugget Bridge, uh, and interesting things will start happening again. Um, I, I say that, but the next thing that's going to be happening is that Fury is going to be going and talking to Bill, our friend Bill. Um, uh, where is Bill? Uh, where, where Bill? Where Bill? 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 Oh, that's why those computers. There, he's a science guy. Um, nope, he's a Nidorino guy apparently. It's Nidorino. Well. I mean, it would have been cool if he was a science guy, but we'll, we'll take a Nidorino instead. That can talk. That's pretty cool. Um, but let's see here. Fury, are you going to help this Nidorino? He seems kind of sus. You are. Okay, great. Well, then we'll help him, uh, and then I guess we'll continue on our merry way. What are, what are the ethical implications of, like, fusing Pokemon and human together? Um, I think they're not great because I'm pretty sure that um, the movies and like the anime and stuff have proved that Pokemon are sentient. Uh, and I hate that oh, yeah. implication 100%. and I don't want to think about it tonight when I go to sleep. Nope. Anyway, goodbye, Bill. You were a science guy. Um, hopefully Indeed. you'll continue to be one and you'll stop fusing yourself with Pokemon because that's weird and has odd ethical implications. Yeah. Also, shout outs to the entire race the other day that all collectively agreed to ditch bells together. Mad props. That was very spicy. Uh, I was kind of hoping Fury would just do it for the memes there, but Fury is apparently like tryharding, which I, I get because, like I said, this race has a kind of something on the line here today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Personally, I think Bill is just lying about turning himself into his fursona. Um, you know what? There is something there, possibly. I can see that. Yeah. 
Does this mean that a lot of people in the Pokemon universe have thought about who their personas would be? Perhaps. I just let that hang there in the in the air for a bit. Um, I guess just ruminate. Let us, let us know in the chat or comments to um, know if you have your fursona figured out in terms of like, I guess it's not fursona, it's pokesona. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the Pokemon Speedruns TV channel. Ha <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to donate to the prize pool, ring that, click that donate button. Ring that, click that donate button. I don't oh my gosh, Squirrel on Iron Screen, oh, let's freaking that? go. That's the second one in this round, let's go. Ring that, click that donate button for Squirtle. Uh, this squirrel yeah. is, at best, I believe it's an 86% <laughs> He's so cash. excited he doesn't know what to do in the menu. <laughs> Gonna Raz, see if he gets these. Oh, perfect, nice. excellent. excellent. This is about Beautiful. an 86% chance with double greats. Raz, excellent. Iron celebrating in the chat, does that mean? Because we, uh, we have all got delay. Let's go! Let's go! go. This squirrel like, came in at level 11. So, it will take... Oh. Five levels so far. It's but... um, it's the Raz before the throw, and it has to be all caps. Um, I learned that yesterday for the cantrip command that Fury made for us for the bot. Shoutouts to Fury. Yep, hell yeah, Fury. Ninety-three percent. Okay. Oh, nice, nice for a level eleven. No, it was excellent, not nice. Great. <laughs> I, apparently, <laughs> I'm just here to Raz Dynam on commentary today. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to. You don't run on OBS preview anymore. I was trying. No, not, not no, 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 no. I've I've learned yeah. my lesson. It hey, only took me fifteen months, a, but did you get a PB like right away? I I did get like an instant minute PB. Yep. More yep. or less. Let's take the gloves off. Heck yeah. Okay. Congratulations to Iron. For yes. That. GG's Iron. Uh, I'm sure he'll. I'm sure we'll keep the squirrel around for the fans. Just to evolve into War Turtle. Uh, that would be really cool. I uh uh did didn't mark it yet. No, did mark it. It we're gonna see War Turtle. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Route six, which um so Evie is just gonna grab a candy and then hope for a couple of nice catches on this route. Uh, we're not looking for anything in particular here. Vulpix is nice, but so is Abra or Jigglypuff. We just kind of want to buff up our catch count and hopefully make sure we've got enough speed to outspeed the rival the boat rivals Pidgeotto. Um, but what's Pika gonna be looking for here, Dynam? Uh, Pika is going to look for on Route six. Uh, hopefully a nice orange red puppy and by the name of Growlithe. Uh, we don't we definitely need Growlithe to get through the next couple of fights. Abra can also take Growlithe's place, um, except for the fact that you can't really ride a Kadabra around, whereas you can ride an Arcanine around, which is really nice. Um, but as long as at least one of those two things show up for our Pika runners, they'll be totally fine. Yeah. Um, what happens if they don't? Uh, you cry and you hope that your Oddish outspeeds the Sand True on Route 9. Okay, okay, so so there is a way, it's just not good at all. Right. Uh, Furious nice. is getting, okay. uh, blocked by a bunch of red and pink things. Yeah, where's Greta? Because I feel like she'd enjoy this right now. I feel like she would enjoy this a little bit more if this was a polar fox. But That's Vulpix true. So, Fury, very, if you could cool. just go and do the trade for your Lolan Vulpix when you have a second, that'd be great. Yeah, where where um, is that trade? Is that in Celadon? I want to say it's in Lavender, but I've got no actual idea. I did it in game when I played it casually, but it's been so long. I truly do not remember. Lavender is Diglett. Okay, I don't remember then. Um, but if we find out, maybe we'll tell Fury to do it. Saladon? Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. And now Fury is setting up for one of the hardest skips in the game. If you walk perfectly in between those two trainers, you don't have to fight them. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, and I've seen even top level runners mess that up. But it's really good to see that Fury got it. In my opinion, that skip is a lot harder going down than it is going up. Because yes, we are going to be going back through that route later. Uh, so, good to see him get it there, and hopefully all of our runners will hit it today, because it's just time loss if you do. Ooh, this is perfect for Pokétax. Instant Pokétax just got an yeah. instant Growlithe. Uh, with this, you might... Pokétax may still grab the rare candy for consistency Ooh, here. Ooh, didn't quite get this excellent Ooh. there. Uh, but with the instant Growlithe, because you can just ride it as soon as you exit Rock Tunnel, at worst case, 
uh, you may not need to pick up this rare candy, saving a little bit of extra time. So we'll see whether Pokétex goes for the consistency route here, or if he just uh, go barrels straight towards Boat Rival. Interesting. So if you don't pick up that candy, do you just pick up the Mansion candy instead? Yes. And okay. you still need four rare candies overall for Starmie. That just alleviates the the chance that you'll have to rare candy Ponyta in Mansion. Okay. Example. Well, Pokétex said, I've got what I need. I no longer need my lure to be up on this route if it does, because Jigglypuff, you're just catching to have a catch. Um, and you're, yeah, that, like that one. That one right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Shook the wrong controller. Well. There's Pikachu. Isn't, isn't it cute? Um, mm -hmm. And now now we're going to try and catch this Jigglypuff. Uh, I didn't mention this one. Fury saw one. But yeah, if you instantly throw... That's the best thing. Perfect. Nice, Ooh, excellent. Like right on the outer left edge of that. Yeah, literally like positive break on that target throw. Um, no, that mm. was really good. Um, if you leave it any longer, it starts floating away. Super annoying. Funnily enough, uh, OBS preview reference, I have gotten more greats recently on Jigglypuff with the instant throws than I ever have in my entire life now <laughs> because of the delay. That's hilarious. <laughs> See, that was the first thing I learned when I started running this game, is I'm like, mm, I don't like how far off my throws are from where I see them on the screen, so I am just immediately setting up another monitor just to play the game off of that. So I'm mm -hmm. surprised y'all were able to deal, honestly, but good for you. Pokédex going for the setter step approach. Love it, respect it. Everybody that's, has their own fun. approach for like going hitting the skip on the way down. Sometimes you see people just lining it up and going directly north-south. Sometimes you pe see people uh, taking very interesting angles. You're talking about staring. etiquette. Um, <laughs> I, I'm seen... not naming anybody in particular, I'm just I saying. Uh, I haven't seen him do it recently, but he has like a... Most people have like a straight line approach. Etiquette had like a radial approach, where it's like, I make a circle, and that's more consistent for me. Though this this year, he seems to have like learned a straight line approach. Oh my gosh, this, Iron, what are this you doing? puppy is taking Iron for a stroll. <laughs> through the wardrobe to Narnia, let's go. <laughs> Ran directly through that gentleman's line of vision, so Iron had to duck right around it. Obligatory chasing a Growlithe up and down Route 6 will take waste 10 seconds of your life that you'll never get back. Ah, yes, I know what that's from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's pretty is level great. 20 for Pokétax here. If Pokétax was good. level 21, he could have had the option to do a one-controller fight on the Boat Rival instead, but you'll you'll see all three of our runners do the the 2C fight that Furious is doing on this screen. Uh, I wish we keep. I wish we could keep seeing Pokétax's AVs to know if maybe maybe his peak is also cracked. And then you wouldn't even need to worry about it, but we'll get a we'll get an idea of things when he teaches Thunderbolts. Yes, we will. Um, which I guess is coming up really quick because it's level twenty one, isn't it? Uh, it is level twenty, about to be twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To teach that Thunderbolt. Excellent. And then that'll put, let's see, our runners are, okay, so Iron's got 19 Pokemon, which is great for yeah, Route that 6. That is pretty absurd for before Boat Rival, and I'm pretty sure that he's still got, like, Jigglypuff to go, he could catch a, That's a big correct. bird or a small bird. Uh, a medium bird, even, yeah, um, oh, or fish goes bird, for the, goes, goes for the really mid small bird. bird. I like going for a mid bird. Um, so you lose out on being able to get Pidgeot if you if you evolve this bird, um, but you get two catches, pretty much guaranteed. And um, I'll let you on in a, in on a secret. Currently, Iron has 57 planned and 56 now that he's removed Pidgeot, so doesn't really need to worry about it too much. Wouldn't it be crazy if this Pidgey was supersized and we just see Wartor right now? Dang it, I was hoping to manifest it. Close, close. <laughs> You almost manifested it, but let's manifest, um, uh, I guess, like a Wumbo Graveler in Rock Tunnel for our runners. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Or Route 10 Chansey. No, don't catch <laughs> Chansey on Route 10. It's like 50%. Don't do it. it. It's such a double-edged sword, but if you can line it up right with your party management, your starters can get so much experience for the remainder of the mid-game. Holy crap, Iron's gonna go into Boat Rival with 21 caught. Like, I don't think I've seen this since, like, Amber's one at the beginning of the round or the end of last round. I don't remember anymore. These yeah, I think Amber's was, all blended yeah, together. Sure Amber's was like 20 and like entering Boat Rival and then like 30 entering Rock Tunnel or 28. Yeah, that sounds right. And I uh, Fury with 15, that looks kind of low. It's not, though. Like it maybe is like one or two low, 
but it's not really off of what you'd expect. And I wasn't kidding earlier when I said that Fury is usually someone that leaves Rock Tunnel with like 29 and he's they're just like, it's fine, I'll deal with it. Um, we'll see if that holds true in this run. I hope not, because anything less than 30 leaving Rock Tunnel is a little scary. Yeah, I would say definitely 30 is like the, the comfortable bare minimum that you want to see. Like 29, you can get away with. 28, you start sweating a little bit. Yeah, I think that would make things a little hard. And I, I will note also that of all, of all the runners, Fury has the lowest planned right now with only 50. Um, maybe Fury just likes to live dangerously. Maybe not. Um, but at least currently not marking Tentacle. So there is that. All right, I did take a quick glance at Pokétax's AV spread uh, just based off that Thunderbolt Teach. It looks like he got about two to three AVs in a, uh, like one to two AVs in attack and nothing in special attacks so this pika is like all all speed all speed all interesting for the most part oh boo okay well not as good as our other runners with their six attack avs um but hey hopefully poke attacks doesn't like lose any turns in comparison and just you know has a good clean fight against these two runners yeah if poke attacks is like 10 and tunnel go very well and his pikachu is solidly ahead on experience like that that more than makes up for it pikachu yeah. does not necessarily need that experience buffer as much as eevee does um i guess at least in the early game not sure how that shapes up in the mid game just mostly because you rely more on things like nidoking or rhyhorn yeah and things like that i find that um hideout is just kind of bad um and you don't the problem with hideout is you kind of um need a lot more experience to know how to have a good hideout, I think. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that's actually come up in EV in recent years is that we've also we've taken a couple pages out of Pikachu's book and we've started uh, routing in the option to have Nidoking with us in hideout as well. Um, so what that will look like is, you know, you've let Eevee take the sidelines a little bit and Nidoking will take care of a couple fights for you. Um, we're not really sure if it's like faster or more consistent, but uh, I asked Etiquette when, in what situations, he would go for a hideout Nido King, and he was just like, eh, it just depends on the vibes. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, a lot of things, all of the decisions that I make in speedruns are based off of vibes too, and honestly, it's so real for that. Talking to a lot of the top level runners, a lot of things in Let's Go are just vibe checks. Uh, it's like, do I want to catch this Pokemon? Nah, it doesn't pass the vibe check for whatever reason. Like, sometimes you skip a couple Pokemon because you don't need them and they're too far out of the way. Uh, sometimes you you take, you take you put your EV in the box and you say, no, nah, I'm going to use this Nido King. It just feels right today. Or you're going to say, no, this Nido King is going to be modest. And I need, like, that Nidorino is going for Pokétex, trying so hard. I'll be honest, so when Pokétax ran back up Route 5 and there's an Abra there, I was totally expecting the Abra to despawn. I didn't notice, or like, I never knew that Abra has like a little bit of an animation for like, Abra notices you, but you're not like within its range for it to teleport. Oh, really? Yeah, like that's the first time that I've seen that, I think. I, huh. maybe, I don't know, I never noticed that. Um, though, yeah, Sheep is right. Sometimes you just want to vibe Eevee as your cute Pokemon for Erica, which I respect because it is cute. And sometimes you just need to show off your Eevee. Respect. And, or your Pika. I'm not, I'm not actually version biased. I, I play Eevee, but that's because I have Eevee. Oog. Pokétax's Growlithe, unfortunately not hitting level 18 for the Sandshrew. I think did hit the Gloom range just based off of the plus two special attack flamethrower which is a harder range to hit than the Sandshrew itself. So hopefully we just see the Sandshrew go down and no shenanigans so that, happen on Pokemon. Yeah, let's hope so. That, of course, doesn't mean anything, but we'll find out. Okay, that's a Crab for Fury off the bat and a Spearow. Both are good. Okay. Um, I see a Rat in the back and a Nido female. That's not a okay, bad start at all. Honestly, oh, honestly okay. that's a very solid start, assuming that Fury yeah. has not already caught a... No, has not caught has not a caught rat, rat yet. Uh, so the... the <laughs> Route 10, there's six things you want to catch here. The four things you saw on Fury's screen, a Nidoran male as well, and I am forgetting the other one. Uh, Chansey? Yeah, Chansey. So, um, you, you, um, you only get four spawns at a time is the problem on Route 10. Uh, so you can get really unlucky in that it's just like, you want, you want a Nidorino, you want a Firo, I know, you, you, you want, you want a, um, 
a crab that is not glowing at all. And it's just like, I don't want any of those things. Thanks for asking. Um, so you got to respawn the route or you just got to leave without getting too many catches at all. Um, Ooh, Furious having Eradicate show up right now, I think what he's going to do is he's going to catch this right now. Going to catch, uh, what? let's see, caught crab, caught this Nidoran. Going to go probably Spiro? back for the uh, Spiro, Spiro and then go for Eradicate. Because in this scenario, Furious' mm -hmm. party will be full by the time that uh, he catches the Rattata, so that's basically both the XP bomb in Raticate, as well as putting Raditata in the box so it doesn't even have a chance to evolve whatsoever. I in do addition like that. to evolving everything yeah. that he has in his party right now. So yeah, and I really do his... like that idea. Oh, yep. That's exactly what he's doing right now. Um, I'm a big fan of that. I love having the extra EXP bomb for Raticate. Plus, um, I like being able to leave Route 10. You stop trolling, Krabby. You stop just... Whatever you're doing. <laughs> um, I like being able to leave this route with Bellsprout Evolved. Um, that was the Joy-Con's fault. What the heck? Um, but I just like being able to deposit my Weepin' Bell um, when I'm in the tunnel or at my earliest convenience. I just don't like having it sticking around your party in this section because you're going to have other friends that you want to have in your party instead. Uh, and I think that the Raticate will get him very close to that, if not get him all the way Evolved. Yeah, by this time, like by the time he finishes his catching section on Route 10, uh, assuming he goes for the racket and then there the rat. Yeah. Um, yep, there it is. Uh, like you'll have a full party clearer by the time you need to catch things in Rock Tunnel, and you can do a clean slate of party management there. Yeah. So um, I mentioned, you know, do you want to get like the four or five things here? Um, Pikachu is really going to want to try and get an Eateran mail. Um, and that's because I kind of alluded to it earlier. You use Nido King in Pikachu for the Rocket Hideout section. Uh, you can use Nido Queen as well. Um, there's only one fight where it's better, and otherwise, it's probably worse, from what I hear. Uh, so you want to try and get out of here with one of those. You can also make do with a Nido Reno, but it's not quite as good as using Nido King itself. Uh, and it looks like Poketax is just having a Nido female party. Um, which, I mean, I love women, but in this case, we kind of really wanted to see some Nido, nido yeah. males. You got some Nido Firos. Nido Firo. Nido Firo? The it's third? One. It's two. Oh, two. Well, three? Uh, uh, I guess it's Hello? a bachelor party. I guess so. And the Raticate's just their best friends of the, of the groom, I guess. I, I guess so. Goodness. That, that just happened. Uh, okay, great. Uh, let's see what Iron will get when- Riot- Iron's already got 22 Pokémon? Uh, yes, and he's not even stepped foot on Route 10 yet. This is the first Route what 9 the... fight that he's currently on. Okay, I see- Absolutely I see wild. because Iron and Fury evolved their Jigglypuffs. So that's probably why Iron is quite so high, plus still has War Turtle on the table. So we'll probably see that, um, right when he gets to Route 10, might one of the first catches will just evolve that Squirtle. Uh, so that explains why that's the way it is. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Fury is going to be going into Rock Tunnel with at least 24. And that sounds great to me, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going in with like 22, 23 is like, yeah, I'll take that. Going in with 24 is really solid. Yeah, entering Rock Tunnel, like, depending on how many evolutions you have yet to do, like, Furious is getting through all of it right now with uh, the big rat that he just caught. Um, anywhere between like, I'd say 21 to 24 or 5 is like pretty typical. It's what you e exit Rock Tunnel with that like I typically baseline runs around. There's the the fast throw on the on the small rat there just to get into the box for the extra catch. Yeah, and not really that good experience on that one. Right, and you don't want any experience now on things like Weepin' Bell, Firo, etc., because those are just wasted levels, two seconds apiece. So going for the fast throw there is is a good call. Do you think Fury would deposit before going into Rock Tunnel, or would get in the Rock Tunnel first? Uh, it looks okay, like he's depositing right now. now. Uh, just in case, you know, Rhyhorn shows up. The things that you want to see in Rock Tunnel, things like Zubat, Machop, Cubone, Rhyhorn, Graveler. You want Graveler to be out of your party, preferably, and Rhyhorn yeah. to be in. Uh, so it's just going to really depend on the order of things he sees and how he bases things around that. Ooh, I just realized Poketax Attorney had such a bad route 10 that might be going into Rock Tunnel with 19. Ooh, what does his catch look like? Right, He's got both Nidorans at the very least, so you've got evolution potential there and does have a Spearow. 
I think most of it is just due to the fact that Pokétax is putting the Pidgey line and the Rattata line on the back burner at the moment, just because he hadn't seen anything that suits his fancy. Yeah. Uh, those things, we'll be able to get those later on, so don't have to worry too much about that at the moment. Yeah, this looking at it now, you're right. He he only missed like the, the Rattata, uh, which you can catch almost anywhere. Like You can catch this in Mansion if you need to. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, th I think this is still fine for Pokétax. Still has 53 planned, so not... Well, you want to hit as much as you can in this tunnel because this 53 does include Tentacool, uh, and I hate to see that. Uh, so we're just going to catch a Zubat right away as Pokétax, um, as I think Iron... Did Iron step foot in tunnel already? Uh, I believe he's just finishing the Rocket Fight, possibly. Okay. okay. That would be good. Either All that right, or, so. just, or just starting his catches. Oh, no, oh, just finished the, starting catches. The, the picnicker fight, goodness. I got thrown off by how high Iron's catch is. I'm like, oh, surely you must be on Rock 10 by, Route 10 by now. Nope, not yet. Apparently not. Um, okay, so going into Rock Tunnel, uh, you, you have a lot of things you want to see, but the biggest thing that we want to get is Rhyhorn. Now, um, this game doesn't have a bicycle, it just has a lot of Pokemon that you can ride instead, and there's varying degrees of fast and slow rides. Um, you can ride with, like, Onyx. It's not fast, but you can. It looks funny. It looks really funny. You can ride Kangaskhan, too. That's also funny. Um, but really, it's not faster. What is faster is riding a Rhyhorn. Um, early game, it's one of the fastest rides you can get. Uh, so everyone's going to be looking for one of those to try and go fast, because going fast is good. If you spend enough time on Route 6, you can get a Persian, or if you spend enough route time or right, uh, bleh, bleh, enough time on Route 25 in, in EV, you can catch a 5 Meowth to turn in for an Arcanine. But mm -hmm. that's unfortunately a little bit too slow for our liking here. Just I am a getting bit. a Nidoran male here, so both of our Pico runners getting the correct Nidoran that they need. Which is and that's fantastic. an immediate Nidoran male as well, which is good because you want to get as much experience on your Nidoran as, as you can. Also, there's War Turtle. Here Let's comes go. the turtle. It's here. We'd love to see a turtle. I don't know whose audio we're hearing right now, but it would be nice to hear Squirrels cry. Uh, don't change it if it's not, but that would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, Shoutouts to Leggy, who is doing tech for us right now. Uh, yeah, wait, Leggy. that going to run? How dare you? You know what I just realized? If Iron catches a Charmander in Rock Tunnel, he this will, will be have the first instance of a starter trifecta in a Pokemon Let's Go tournament race. Okay, Iron, listen to us. You have to now. This is mandatory. This is mandatory. Rare, rare, rare Char is forced. You must go for it. All right, well, let's hope that happens. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Uh, I'm uh, getting his see. second Oh my god, here. that's two instant Rhyhorns for Fury coming down this ladder. And yeah, a Gravel right from, next to it. For sure. Catching Rhyhorn first, because I'm pretty sure that in Eevee you'll use Rhyhorn at some point to attack. Um, so yeah, getting so... this first will help with like getting experience onto it. Go ahead, Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. So Fury actually is not a fan of doing Nido King and Hideout, just more comfortable with Eevee. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to be using, there's a there's a double fight or two that we're actually going to be doing in the bottom of Hideout. And the preferred partner for Fury is going to be this Rhyhorn. Uh, and in fact, there's going to be another rival fight coming up in the, in the Pokemon Tower. And we're going to use Rhyhorn on that too. Uh, because our rival has really annoying electric type Pokemon that you maybe you've heard of before. It's, um... Pikachu? It, it evolves into Raichu, and that's really annoying. Uh, so we're going to make use of Rhyhorn's Drill Run to KO that thing without any like too much trouble. Uh, we're also going to use it in a couple other fights because um, poisons are weak against ground types. This is true. You love to see Crit Drill Run against like Arbok and Weezing, for example. That would be fantastic. Yeah, you would love that. I hope the Rhyhorn. The, I hope the Rhyhorn is good. We all deserve good Rhyhorns. Oh my gosh, the War Turtle appearance on screen for Iron. Let's see, that's freaking just for the go. Swag. Yeah. If you wanted to see this fight, typically you want to use like Nidoran to to use Helping Hand, but War Turtle for the swag. Huge yeah, respect. Chad, Chad is also reminding me that um, Rhyhorn is also sometimes just there as a little tanky friend. Um, it really depends. Like, there's so many different ways to do hideout where it's like, if you want, you can use Rhyhorn or you can just use it as a person that's using exp attacks on Eevee. Uh, either one works. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Zubat. People don't like Zubat, Zubat, but I'm a fan. Zubat's like all right if it doesn't do the cycle that just appeared on Furious screen. If it goes yeah. like the, the slight left to right, you can kind of catch it on the right side if you do a side throw. Instant right horn. Oh horror, my horror, god. Horror. Let's go. Jeez, all three iron. of our runners getting uh, really quick getting the things that they need. You, yep, that sounds great. Okay, now we just need iron to get a rare char, uh, and yeah. everything will be fine. Iron gets a rare char. Pokétax and Furious Pokétax needs Kanga. a Rhyhorn. Okay, yeah, Kanga. Um, I didn't realize the Pokétax didn't have a Rhyhorn yet, so we'll need one uh, of those. Gotcha. I think I might have seen Graveler on his screen. I thought it was a Rhyhorn in that case. Can we ban uh, Wild Golbat from the game? Uh, I agree, honestly. Heck that. Uh, sure. I'll get contact my it uncle at Game well. Freak. My uncle at Gr Game Freak will help put a retroactive patch into Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and it'll ban Golbats from appearing in the wild. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, no, I'm not banning Wild Onyx. It's too funny. Yeah, especially if you see three rock snakes blocking your path, and you have to repel them away. <laughs> yup, it sounds perfect to me. Oh, there's the right horn for Pokétax. Good. We okay. Go. We we don't want we don't want people to lose time because they got an unfortunate catch. Like that's just uncool. Right. Pikachu. We want would people be lose fine, time from silly things. Especially because both of our runners or both of our Pika runners did catch an instant Growlithe, which is pretty solid. You can there's a Firestone on Route Eight that you can grab on the way over to Celadon City that can help alleviate your mount problems if you don't have a right horn. Eevee, unfortunately, is just out of luck until Pokemon Road. Yeah, we had to do the walk of shame. Yeah, but very good to get Rhyhorn. Also, because you had mentioned it is a very versatile partner for the upcoming hideout and tower sections of the game. Yes, it's a good friend. Good spiky shaped friend. Fury is just motoring on through Rock Tunnel. The, y Fury, I I'm gonna look at your tracker and see what else you need. Uh, oh, actually, I think Fury's good. Yeah, Fury has picked up Graveler, Rhyhorn, Zubat, Machop, and Cubone. Uh, so, just cruising straight on through. What's funny is Fury is still gonna leave Rock Tunnel with 29 from the looks of things, and that's like that's pushing it. But you can make that work, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah Fury also s notably still has not caught anything in the Pidgey line yet, so that still that's true, opens yeah. up the avenue for that later on in the game. That is true, um, which could be really nice if you find a Pidgey on Route 17, so you could get a Pidgey out and then not have to worry about the nine tails that Fury currently has marked. Um, but then you'd have to rely on catching a Pidgey on Route 17, so I totally get why he's only going to catch two of the Pidgey. <laughs> I, am, I am thinking for a split second about going for that Kangaskhan, ends up going for the Smashop instead. He, just, he probably was more like staring at it going, why is it you and not a rare char? I had to think about what category he was running for a second. Clearly, he's already caught so many of the Pokemon that you would need for AOP. Machop being a little trolly, jumping around. At this point, Iron is just like, screw it, we're going for it. Yeah. Not waiting for the attack. Uh, you gonna catch? Nope. Okay, Fury's not catching that one he ran into. Fury is taking the. I think Eevee like will almost always one C this fight in Sophia. Uh, yes. Sophia has a Vulpix and a Kadabra. Vulpix probably goes down to Bouncy Bubble and Kadabra probably goes down to Headbutt. I think the issue here is that Kadabra can outspeed the Eevee and that can cause problems if, say, you get uh, Confusion or Psybeam confused. Yep, the notes do say that if you get burned right here in Eevee, you summon the second controller. Uh, that's, the, that's the way to do it. Um, and that's really true of anything that goes wrong in this game. Um, if something bad happens, if you get a crit where you weren't expecting one, if you miss an item, if you miss a menu, you summon the second controller and try to get your second person to deal with it. Whether it's um, stomping something that's evasive, or it's using a potion, or um, any sort of healing, it's all important. Just pull out the second controller. Maybe it's slow, but you, you don't die. And that, not dying is important. Not dying is generally considered to be a good thing. Uh, I was a little distracted by chat, but Furious making an <laughs> emote in chat makes me think that he actually did get uh, outsped by the Kadabra. Possibly got confused. That happens um, almost all the time. He was confused. I did see that. I was like it. staring at the screen, trying to talk through the fact that I'm like, don't don't acknowledge the confusion because then you then you'll curse the run. Exactly. But uh, making it through all right. 
Yeah, Fury on his way out of tunnel at 20, level 26, which is, I would have loved to see double edge already, but that's not how the cards shook out. I'm trying to think of anything that Furious has left to catch, like in terms of seven or eight, to possibly get yourself to double edge at that point. The only thing I can see is probably like a glow. It would have to be a really big Abra. Like, Rare Char on poke attacks is screen, though. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Now we just need to see one for iron. But very, very excited attacks. for poke attacks to see a rare charm. For the people, wanted, get, wanted get iron the right get cycle. Yeah. Somebody in chat wants to do the catch rate for a Charmander with double grades. That would be appreciated. But gets in very solid. I think that's probably like a sixty-seven percent chance with great balls. Was it a great, great, excellent? Great, great, excellent, Raz, probably. Okay, so it's great, great, Raz, excellent for those that want to put it in chat. We're, we, I'm not lazy. I just can't hold. I, I'm holding my microphone because I don't have a stand for it yet. Uh, Raz before excellent sheep. There you go. 71%. 71. Okay, slightly Thank better you. than I thought. Still not great. Not great, but I mean, we, we did 68% Clefable earlier, so I feel like that's probably as low as you want to go for catches in this game now that we actually know how the catch rate works. Staring in Route 10 Chansey. Stairs in Route 10 Chansey. I would not go for it. I've tried it before. It didn't go well. This is the iteration of the 2C fight for Pokétax here for Pika. Uh, you can bring out Nidoking, and you have two options here. If Pikachu is at low health, you can X attack one turn and then heal the other turn if you need to. The other iteration is if you don't want to risk the Flamethrower burn on Vulpix, you can just spam Helping Hand with Nidoking to not have to dip into that items menu and save a little bit of time that way. And then the final iteration, we'll see if Iron decides to go for it here, depending on what he sees. Seeing a Graveler here, very cool. Uh, for 1C, you would set up an X attack on Pikachu because you don't have Bouncy Bubble for to take care of that Vulpix. And try and not get burned, basically. So basically, not getting Vulpix. status elements is important in this game. Uh, it's a shame that there's so many moves that cause them. Right. Thankfully, Pikachu will never be able to get paralyzed uh, due to the fact that it is itself an electric type Pokemon. And does, that's one of the does Glare things. paralyze it? It does. I do not believe it does. I'm pretty sure. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure electric Pokemon cannot be paralyzed after. Because they they have generation. they have changed that depending on the gen. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm like I don't remember how it works anymore because I've been playing for too long. Glare does not paralyze Pikachu. Well, um, that's pretty nice. Must be yeah, nice. What's it like to have yeah. it all? Uh, I mean, you can still get burned. So <laughs> we, and don't have bouncy, you have... we don't have bouncy bubble. We don't have bouncy glow. We don't have. You, you also have the defenses of uh, of paper, so. Yeah, exactly. What about stun spore? I don't know that either. I know that grass type Pokemon are now immune to spores, um, but that changed in I think um, six. I don't have a rice cooker, Zeke, but thank you for asking. Looks like Iron also taking the, the 2C iteration here, not risking a thing. And I think going for the Helping Hand version as well. Uh, Pikachu here is at good enough HP that it won't... I do not think that it dies to both Fake Out and a Quick Attack from Pidgeotto from, from Rival and the final trainer in Rock Tunnel respectively. So can just opt to heal during that fight. Man, Fury is moving, I just realized. Yeah, Fury is out of tower already at the 117 minute mark. And yeah, that, even with 29 like, catches, that is pretty huge. Like a 115 tunnel exit is very respectable in the in like the 29 to 30 range. And this is a 118 exit lavender. That's very good. Yeah, this is um, excellent pace from Furious. Also, uh, get your metronome guesses in chat um, because Fury is not level 28. So we're going to see a metronome mm -hmm. unless we get 30% headbutt flinch. So, you know, there's a chance. I always go for Hydro Pump. Amber says flinch. That's a very respectable choice. Sand attack. Um, more flinch guess as well. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, Pogatak's not getting the zippy zap range at level 27 on the Pidgeotto. If he was 28, that would have been all but guaranteed. Typically, uh, since Pogatak is naive, could have opted to Thunderbolt. I believe that Thunderbolt on average is oh! slightly better. Oh! What Guillotine. are we seeing? Guillotine! Oh, okay. Oh! Oh. Okay, thankfully, oh. 
Furious is level 27. All one-hit KO moves cannot connect as long as the enemy is higher level than you. So that was completely safe. But I'm sure that Furious was uh, uh, guillotine and had a of a moment. Uh, so that was <laughs> yeah, totally fine. But definitely panic ensued for more than a fraction of a second. Though that's one of the ones that you don't want to see. Uh, but thankfully, Fury was already level 27, uh, so it wasn't the same level as Clefairy, which is where that stops working. Um, mm -hmm. So, so that's pretty good. Um, why are we giving edgy rice cooker recommendations? Um, also, can I have one? Zoji Rushis are so. I've heard good that for rice cookers. I've heard that. Like if, if you if you can afford one, if you have the disposable income to get yourself a rice cooker and use it enough, get a Zoji Rushi. I've been debating one for years because I'm making rice like at least once a week. And also, like sings you a little like twinkle twinkle little star song when you started out. That is pretty it's great. I do enjoy Japanese appliances for that kind of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're in Celadon City. We're this talking not to... a sponsored stream, by the way. No, it's not. Um, but get at us. We will take more money for the prize pool. Anyway, uh, this is John Celadon, um, and he's teaching Evie Glitzy Glow, which is a great move. And now we're going over to see Madame Celadon. Uh, and she's going to help us synchronize all the natures of our wild Pokemon. We're going to tell her that we like blue flowers and we don't like red flowers. Um, and that means that we're going to get a modest nature. Don't ask me how, that just works. Uh, and that means that all the Pokemon that we're going to see for the next 24 hours in-game, uh, or on Switch, I should say, uh, will be modest. And that's pretty cool. I wonder why we do that. Anyway. Actually, save it for your own stream, dang it. <laughs> You've got more. You've got cooking to do on your stream when you come back. Finally, so relax. Uh, anyway, um, anyway, for those for those hoping we might have a metronome reprisal, I'm sorry to say that uh, in this game, Clefairy is a fairy type, and Nido King knows poison jab. So we're not going to be seeing it from either of our Pikachu runners. Sorry, folks. Classic case of fairy types are in this game because Clefairy and Jigglypuff got switched over to fairy type in Gen Six. Uh, but still no dark types. In, in it makes go. me so sad because there I love so dark, many good types. dark types. Out there's there are so many good dark types. Hound Hour was my jam in Right? In Gold, me Crystal. too. Me too. Also, shout outs to Murkrow. Love a good dark Murkrow, type. Murkrow, really, sa really savage. Um, I, I just like dark types, period. Like, my favorite two types are poison and dark. Um, and it shows. Yeah, solid. Alright, Pokétax jumping in here. Normally, Eevee will not go into this bush. Hello, birds. Suddenly, birds. Uh, but Firestone for Growlithe to evolve into Arcanine will be put to use after Lavender Tower, once we're done with the Justin James fight there. Eevee might decide to, like, cut the bush if, like, they need it for, like, catches and whatnot. If you see, like, an instant Abra that isn't looking at you, go ahead and cut the bush. Why not? Yep. It's an extra two catches. It's worth it. Yep, that, that is always good to see. Uh, now we are going into the rocket hideout section. We've been talking about it for a while. It's my least favorite part of the speed run. Uh, why? Uh, because the fights are lame. Team Rocket has so many Pokemon that do status elements, and they just all are in this one space. And it's annoying as hell. All right, we're seeing Fury coming down to do the pure EV strat going into this one. There's a bunch of strats. There's um, EV with double edge, EV without double edge, and then you've got Rhyhorn, and then you've got Nido King, and then you've got a blend of all of those. Um, looks like uh, Fury is just going to be doing this the standard sort of EV on its own strats, which are going to be EV using Headbutt. Um, hoping for flinches where you can get them so you don't take as much damage. And then Rhyhorn is just there to use items on Eevee. So we're going to get a Super Potion out for Fury. And then we are going to kill, kill this Hypno in two turns. Um, I believe that Nido King has a rough time on the Hypno specifically. And that fight is also a couple of turns. Uh, because it turns out the Poison types are weak to Psychic types. And poison that's not types. super great. Poison types are weak to Psychic types, so if your Nidoking's at low health coming into the fight, it might be a little bit sketchy. However, Nidoking does have a pretty decent attack stat, so typically in 
in fights, depending on what your Pika's attack is and depending on what your Nidoking's King's attack is. You have the option to either X attack your Pikachu, hope that can one hit KO with Zippy Sap, X attack your Nido King, hope that one hit KOs with Poison Jab, or just hit Poison Jab and Zippy Sap if both your Nido King and Pikachu are over leveled and hope for the best. Yeah, really, this run is like this section of the run is one giant decision tree, but there's not really like if this do this. It's just like I don't know how do you feel today. Uh, what's your sign? What did your horoscope say? Yeah, exactly. It's all about the vibes. Vibe check right in the middle of the run, really. Speaking of um, like an Abra that is oops, looking away hey. from you while cutting the bush, uh, might have accidentally manifested that for Iron. Solid two catches I'm sure for Iron. Iron will be happy with that. Iron doesn't have enough Pokemon planned. 56? Not enough. Nope. Uh, at this rate, it'll be 58. We might get to see double digit <laughs> plan or I mean, I guess it was always double digit. Double digit planned. planned for Iron. I am so glad that he's got more I'm than so 10 Pokemon. I'm so glad that Iron has planned <laughs> more than 10 Pokemon <laughs> in this video game. He's not playing Kicked by Koga, uh, which nope. is another one of the meme categories in this game, um, where instead of trying to um, get through the game with 50 Pokemon so you can enter Koga's gym, you instead go to the gym without that many Pokemon and get kicked by him as fast as possible. It's a very silly category, but I, I forget if it was Iron or Spider that played it a whole lot last year. Spider definitely grinded out Kicked by Koga yeah, probably for Spider. A, a while, and I believe the current Kicked by Koga world record holder is actually uh, Trevaria, one of That's our what I was thinking. this year. Yeah, shout out to Triv. Shout out to Triv, she's great. Uh, speaking of things that are great, uh, Nido King did end up one-shotting the Hypno on Pokétax's side. Let's go. That's a good the, Nido King. The plus two X attack, so save the turn there. Very solid. Uh, Nido King notably level twenty-eight for Pokétax. Um, if you know anything about the Pokémon damage formula, you'll know that uh, if you have a level that ends in zero, three, five, or eight, uh, your damage calculation actually is a little bit greater than if you had the same stat line for, like, say. Uh, level 27, for example. Um, so even though level 27 and level 28 Nido King might have this exact same attack stat, 100% uh, of the time, uh, the level 28 Nido King will deal more damage, essentially. The math uh, so that's in just Let's Go and in Pokemon in general hasn't changed in like 25 years. And it's convoluted as heck. I'm just letting you know. Yep. Uh, for future inquiries, uh, please message uh, Corvame on Discord. And then she'll give you the whole rundown. Um, or maybe we'll find the clip of that GDQ run where she actually did the whole rundown. Um, I should probably go look at that again, because I forget how the damage calc works. Um, but if you... Yeah, Corvame. Uh, shout out to Corvame, I guess. She doesn't run this game anymore. Yeah. Also great. Notably, because Pokétax's attack is so good here, you can just... I think that was a one-shot on the Voltorb, which is wild. Wow, okay. Yeah, this normally really it's a three-turn either way. You either X-Attack double Poison Jab into the Rattata or Voltorb, or hit Poison Jab to kill the Rattata, and then yeah. double Poison Jab the Voltorb. But this Nidoking is cracked, and I cannot wait to see what attacks that it has. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm so curious. Is it is it over leveled or is it just that cracked? No, of, it's of a it's just got really good attack. That's wow. All. Okay. Well, we'd love uh, to see it. Iron, unfortunately, uh, Nido King can underspeed the Raticate here. So Raticate did get either a Hyper Fang or a Bite off of Nido King, which flinched it, which caused an extra turn there. Yeah. A little bit unfortunate. Nido King can outspeed if it has a plus speed nature, and sometimes if you know that before the fight, you can actually go into this with just Nido King and spam Poison Jab. Uh, just to save on the extra 2C inputs. Just a little mm. like, optimization here and there if you're able to see those things. Uh, but when when do you look in a speed when you're too focused on going fast? Exactly. Okay, Speaking now of going Fur fast, I didn't even yeah. notice when Furious picked up the lift key, but getting to this fight at 128 is actually kind of absurd. <laughs> Yeah, Fury is on a tear. Like, I don't know how Fury is going this fast. Uh, For the record, you know I believe, I believe Fury's current PB is a one or not a one, a three hundred two fifty X. I want to say, uh, this looks good for Fury. I'm gonna ask and see if he is indeed ahead of PB. I'm just curious. Um, but this is very fast. I know that Fury likes to um, just go. 
Uh, but this seems more go than normal. That being said, this fight, um, ow, uh, that's looks this looks not great at the moment. Bad. Um, uh, okay, Fury paralyzed. is going for the drill run. Okay. Yeah, paralysis drill run. Evie might go down here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, but you need Rhyhorn to basically get the attack off in this fight in order to bring down at least Arbok in order to make it an even thing. Uh, it's not. This isn't terrible. But it's definitely not something you want to see here. At least Rhyhorn did end up getting the draw run off on the Arbok. If that had missed or missed the range there, that would have been exceptionally bad. Yeah. Um, going into the Cubone here, which I like quite a bit, actually. Um, so that I just, ground types are good against um, poison types, so I like this. Also, in this game, there are no um, there are no abilities. Uh, so don't, don't worry about Levitate. Uh, I still have... A hard time using ground type moves on Weezing because of Levitate, but it's not a thing in Let's Go. It's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you could just have like neutralizing gas. Isn't that isn't that an ability that coughing has in the newer games? I don't know. I think in Jenny it's glaring it coughing or glaring. Yeah, let me see what I'm thinking of is glaring Weezing. Um, I don't. Rem Maybe it does have that now. I don't play a lot of the new games. I'm too busy living in my um, happy little Gen Six world or Gen Seven. I like both. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to play sw more Swish. Archer. Archer one. The okay Archer. So we don't we don't like Archer. He shows up a couple times in this game, and he, the second time he shows up is real bad, real bad. Um, this one is not so bad, but it's still not a really good fight. Yeah, how does this fight go for Eevee? Because I know that the Golbat probably outspeeds the Eevee in the end. It does. Um, you don't worry about that too, too much. Um, in this fight, it just is not a big deal. You have Glitzy Glow, um, and you can also Rock Slide um, if you miss the range on it. Um, but it doesn't really do that much damage to you. As you can see here, if you oh, crit, that's, everything goes that's fine. That's huge. Okay. That, that more than makes up for the, uh, the death on J and J, I think. It honestly does. That wheezing can be really pesky, uh, and it's gone. But I think, yeah, we do need to use another X special attack to get rid of this Golbat. Uh, so we're not going to outspeed it. Um, we just don't get flinched, and the fight's fine. That's that's all this does. Yeah, Pokétax's Rhyhorn, even though it's level 25, did not actually hit the range on the Arbok to kill with plus two draw run. So making mm. a little bit of an audible here to go to Stomp to guarantee finish it off. Draw run is a, uh, I believe it's 95% accurate move, 90 yep. or 95%. And we've seen it miss in this tournament, so it can happen. Yep. Uh, and then switching back to draw run for the Weezing and probably going for our plus two helping hand to try and knock it down. Not quite. Okay, so it's going to faint, but that's okay. Um, yeah. We don't really need the okay. horn much for much else right now, other than to ride it. And you can ride fainted Pokemon in this game uh, because you can. Don't ask. Yeah, uh, we won't get into the ethical implications of that, but <laughs> apparently we'll get into the ethical implications of other things, though. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Pico I'm just pulling can up my notes. Kale with okay. T -Bolt or Nidoking can probably poison jab it down at that range. Maybe needs a little help, but. Either way, totally fine here. 82 on... attack? <laughs> the Needle King at 82 attack? I can't see my dreams. Holy moly! For for reference, the uh, in order to uh, ensure that you don't need an X attack on the Rattata Vulture fight, you need Needle King to be at 62 attack at level 28. Yeah, the, the notes, my ranges only go up to like 60 something, not 80. I want to see if my notes have the what range that Hypno was for like... You'll have to let me know. I am Yeah, you, it's almost you know. almost guaranteed. At, oh, okay. Uh, okay. at 79 attack for level 28 uh, Nido King, Poison Jab plus Poison Chance is an 87.4 chance to kill that Hypno. Wow, okay. Meanwhile, thanks to Fury's really good attack, Eevee's, um, had a really e relatively clean uh, Giovanni fight. Eevee just burns the Persian and then um, does a little bit of setup. Uh, and as long as we don't get slash crit, everything goes pretty well. And then all the health that we lost to the Persian, we just recover back on the right home with Bouncy Bubble. Um, so that's pretty nice. Such a broken move. It's a very nice move to have um, because there's a lot of times where it's like, oh, now our Eevee's on low health, but it's fine because the next Pokemon is weak to water. Um, so you just yeah. use that to get yourself back in good shape. 
The only nice. yeah. So the difference between Pikachu and Eevee on the Archer one fight in in particular is that you'll always outspeed the Golbat unless you're minus speed. Thankfully, Goku attacks um, plus speed. I am so. seeing Fury going and getting the extra Ultra Balls, which I think is a very good idea. It um, makes sense. Yes, he needs to do quite a few catches, and having those extra Ultra Balls will make things a little bit more likely to get in and stay in the ball. Um, just taking a look around, um, the tracker, Fury does have 50 plan, but no, Tentacle is not currently marked. So, a little bit of flexibility, but we're still going to want to see basically everything spawning in Tower and on Pokemon Road. Um, speaking of Tower, we're getting Balloon Fight, so we can go back there right now. I think that's the first time I've heard you mention that as Balloon Fight. I've said it literally every time I've commentated this year, so I don't hey, know listen, I've been really busy this year, okay? <laughs> okay. Also, the reason I'm not competing is because I have no time, so... Fair and valid. I'm too busy over here playing Paper Mario and having way too much work to do. Nido King being paralyzed on Iron Sight, definitely going to heal that off the Shaler Sable. You need Helping Hand for the Giovanni fight that Pokétax is on, because you'll go to a plus 6 attack on Pikachu, and then you'll need to hit that Helping Hand on Nido King for the, the plus 6 double kick into Rhyhorn. That's honestly such a cool strat. Like, I know it's like, it's, it's laughable that you need plus 6 and Helping Hand to KO the Rhyhorn, but I like that it's available to do that. Yeah, at very high attack, I'm not sure if Iron's... Uh, Iron's... If Iron has 6 attack AVs, if he is level 28 and has 72 attack, he can just go to plus 4 on the Persian, and that's still guaranteed as well. Nice. Okay. At least I'm pretty sure. That's I'm that's just pulling interesting. numbers off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't, that, won't, that one I will not have in these notes, because mine are Eevee notes. Uh, um, 30... But... Uh, level 30, 72, 28, it would be 76. I mean, I'm pretty sure Iron has that, even though he's rash, which is wild. Iron might know. I think Iron is one of those folks that tracks their AVs. Mm -hmm. Pika is only level 27 here, so probably just going to go for the safe fight because he won't get that level 8 damage boost, unfortunately. Holy Not moly, minus Bedef kind of showing up here. Um, does Golbat have quick attack? Golbat does not have quick attack. Okay, because I know it does in later fights in this game, um, but that's good to know that maybe healed for safety, but you're at that point you're like, do I need to set up anything else? Uh, yeah, you see low too. HP, <laughs> you see single ditch HP, and you're immediately thinking, all right, what in this fight has a priority move? Yeah, that's my first thought. It's like, what is what is quick attack? Anything have a okay. uh, faint? Anything else? No? Okay. Yeah, even if it's Sabrina's Slowbro, you think, does the Slowbro have Quick Draw? <laughs> does it know, <laughs> does, does it know Aqua Jet? Slowbro in Gen 7 have Quick Attack or something like that? Aqua Jet? Anyone? Anyone? I'm almost sure that does not. Uh, Glare and Slowpoke does have the ability Quick Draw, which is That's basically true. like yeah. the Claw. Um, shout out to Isle of Armor. That's, it's, you know what? I just like Swish. I, I know people don't like it, but I thought it was kind of neat. Um, okay, Pokemon Tower. So, I have a question for you. Are you a right. Lure in Tower believer? Uh, under a very specific circumstance where you need, like, both Cubone and Zubat to show up. If you okay. need those, I would say that is, like, the one scenario where you can lure for Tower. Anything else, uh, I have converted from my beginner days of luring for Tower to not caring. Uh, mostly because, one... There's not enough floor space on tower for Pokemon to spawn in. Uh, there's only like Ooh, a limited no, amount per floor. No. Oh no, rest in peace, Ghastly for Furious. Goodbye, Ghastly. Cutscenes will despawn all the Pokemon in the area. So we did see a Ghastly for Fury that was nice and juicy, but nope, Fury will need to get, we're lucky and get one right before we go to the next floor. So might not be able to get the Ghastly, might have to get the Tentacool instead. Um, but yeah, you can actually catch Cubone and Tower in fun fact. Technically, it's 10% here and 9% in Rock Tunnel, so it's technically more likely to show up here. And it's much higher level, you only need one level. The other thing about not loading for Tower is if you don't see a Ghastly all the way through the, the end of Tower, you have essentially wasted two lures already. And those two lures could have converted into like not having to pick up the super. Oh, lure. last second Ghastly! Very nice for Furious. He absolutely needed that. Yeah, that that was important to get. I wouldn't want to see Fury wasting a whole bunch of time on something else. Yeah, switch it to the Ultra Balls now, which makes a lot of sense. You want to do that for sure. Using an Anab on this thing, it kind of moved to the side, which is awkward, but you only want like a. Oh, a great is awesome great. on Ghastly. Yeah, it's great. 
Yeah, nice. All right, we're also seeing Iron finishing up Giovanni. Um, so I'm looking at the catches that our runners have and how far they are through the game. So it looks like Iron is behind, has four more catches on Fury though. So I would say that Iron is still behind in comparison to Fury, but not by as much as it might look. Um, uh, Poketax has one more Pokemon caught than Fury, though not anymore after this Krabby evolves. Um, and they're pretty close with Fury having maybe a slight edge. Um, that could change though, because these Jesse James fights could can go pretty bad in both versions. Um, so we'll have to maybe we'll keep in mind that Poketax and Fury are really close. Um, but we'll see how that stays going into the ma new main section. Yeah, Pokédex at this point is just like one cutscene behind Fury at this point. Yeah, that's not very far at all. Um, and I will point out that uh, there's actually like a bit of a strategy in this Jesse James fight for Pikachu, whereas in the Eevee notes, it just says like, um, set up and pray. Don't get unlucky. Yeah, don't, don't get, don't unlucky. get unlucky. unlucky. Check that one off your commentator bingo card, everyone. Do not do not get unlucky. You know, we haven't had a bingo hit in like half an hour, so I think we were due. Probably. I'm oh, sorry, sheep. I'm sorry. Next time. Next time. <laughs> I, the cards aren't real, but they are in our hearts. Uh, okay, so let's see what we're doing here. We're glitzy glowing the Arbok, and I think we're gonna X special for Fury, and we're gonna hope that things go fine. Is the poison jab. Glossy glow, glow sets up light screen, which have special Things attacks. Things didn't go fine. Uh, oh um, no, not fine enough. Oh dear. So That's Fury got really unlucky. Um, and that'll happen. Pokétax is currently hunting down a Ghastly in a tower. Cubone? What? Is that a anyway, useful tower? I don't think that's useful. I don't think it's anyway. useful. It's not useful, but it's there. Uh, the only one it's useful for is Iron at the moment, but Iron has too many catches, so it's gotcha. fine. Um, so yeah, at this point you just probably put all of your eggs into the Rhyhorn basket. Oh no, the, the Dark Pulse. This is into the exceptionally Rhyhorn basket bad. Is because uh, he, Rhyhorn's slow. Rhyhorn hits hard, but Dark Pulse can flinch, and so can yeah. Crunch. So it's not... I don't like relying on Rhyhorn, but at this point when you're Fury, there's not a whole lot else you can do. Uh, yeah, so that HP... This yeah. is possibly the worst possible outcome for Furious right this now. This is really bad, At unfortunately. This point, probably start sacrificing Pokemon and try and reset the fight. I think the that's what that you, you do here. Yeah, you you absolutely need to make sure that uh, that Arbok goes down. I wonder if um, Fury is listening to us because he's like debating whether, yeah, okay, he's debating okay, whether or not I think... you go for Bone Club and Revive. Yeah, okay, so I think that makes more sense than, um, I think Fury is going to try and play this fight out. Um, okay, yeah, keep you on flinching again. You have got to be kidding me, dude. This is, this is not good. No, dude. Um, so yeah, I think we need to heal up the Eevee so we can try and go again and then hope that something lives long enough to get us through the rest of the fight. Um, in the beginner notes in Eevee, what you'll actually do is you'll bring in the Jigglypuff or Clefairy that you've evolved with your Moonstone uh, and use that as a sacrificial Pokemon, because as we mentioned before, it's a fairy type in this game, so it'll get double targeted by the Arbok and the Weezing, so you are less likely to have Eevee die like Fury did in this fight just now. Um, mm -hmm. But we're gonna oh we're, he's foregoing setup i think and he's just gonna try and kill this arbok right now before it causes any more damage uh okay, okay so that's good. that's the arbok down so that's a Arbok's lot for um i think the cubone's about to die here so we might have some trouble with fury getting the evolutions so hopefully he's got some glowing stuff on pokemon route on pokemon road route 17. um right. i think he, I he think is Fury's down one revive Yes. Uh, so okay. Golbat died, Rhyhorn died. Those don't matter in terms of leveling. Uh, you'll need to use a revive on the Cubone if you want to get that extra level back onto it. But I think, I'm pretty sure that Furious has this fight in hand now. It's just a very long road to recovery for this fight. Yeah, that's unfortunate, and it gave Pokétax okay, time enough to get ahead. Um, that's kind of what I expected. At this point, if I was Fury, I would probably center heal in Lavender before leaving. Um, that way you'll get these Pokemon evolved, because Fury um, is lower on catches compared to the rest of our runners. He's only at 50. Um, so I would try to make sure, rather than like having a couple short, I would make a point to go and heal so they'll evolve in the next section while we do catches. 
Um, uh, Furious but... does have two revives left. So as long, so the only two Pokemon that matter for him are Machop and Cubone. As long as both of those are revived, you'll get the extra evolutions for those. What else died yeah. that needed it? Uh, nothing else. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, Bullet I died, three Rhyhorn things that died, needed it. And those are totally fine. So he has just oh, enough okay. revives to get his party back in order. Does he have one, Crisis? Wait, only one. one. Oh, maybe I'm right uh, then. <laughs> maybe you do it Okay, maybe way. you're right. <laughs> maybe we do it that way. Um, I'm trying to remember where... Oh, Eevee died on uh, J&J. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yes, died in hideout. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I think you center heal here because at this point, Fury needs everything to spawn. He needs to catch everything and he needs to evolve everything. So I think we do a little party management. We we do a heal. Um, we, we are sad about our bad luck, um, but we, we try to make it back in the mid game. The alternate idea here is you just leave one of Cubone or Machop in the box and then choosing to let's see let's just see what he does here choosing to not heal both maybe we'll center we'll see what happens maybe here. we'll center in Celadon or I uh, I guess what else you could do in this situation is you could mom heal okay he's gonna heal in Celadon um I think that's fine I so Christ is saying maybe you can bed heal in Mansion I think that you you if you want Dodrio for blue, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, because it's Eevee, you're gonna want to get the Ponyta. Um, he also needs Psyduck to evolve. So you I think you're just pushing your luck a little bit too much with all these evolutions you need because Fury also needs to evolve um Pidgeotto or Pidgey. Right. Uh, so that's that's just too many things right now, I think. So I think what you do here is you you take you take the L and you're mad about it. But you go, you try to catch as many Pokemon as you can, you try to uh, party manage your heart out, uh, and you move on from there. Um, Fury is definitely still able to come back into this. Uh, probably mm. just getting a little salty at that terrible, terrible JJ2 yeah, fight. I think even I would be so salty at, at that hideout into the yeah. section. Jeez, that's awful. That was not great. Unfortunately, yeah, I do. I do agree that this is like the correct percentage play. If you want to guarantee that you finish the run is that yeah. you get both of those Pokemon up. And then even if you don't see everything that you need to see through Mansion, through Pokemon Road, you still have those two evolutions in the back pocket to, to work with. Yeah, because this is this is a race. If, if you reset now, you you lose the race. And that means that you're out of the tournament. So Fury's got to try. Fury's got to try and just keep going in the best way possible. And the best way possible is to not waste any of the planned catches he has. Because right now, he's got exactly 50, and the only barrier he's got is Tentacle. And he... I don't want to go for that. That's just bad. Yeah, as much as I am a Magmar enthusiast, I don't necessarily want to see people catching Magmar because it is like their their last option. Well, and Magmar isn't even that helpful here because what does it do? It, prevent, it means that Fury doesn't have to, to fire stone the Vulpix. Right. At this point in That's the run, you want to be what's like on call, called like an even catch count because a lot of the things that you show up on Pokemon Road, aside from Pidgey, are a like a basic into stage one evolution if we're using Pokemon TCG terms. Uh, so you want things to appear in sets of two, and if you have an odd catch count, you start throwing nice instant in things. Pony. Very good. Virus absolutely needs that with the amount of bad luck that he's had recently. Uh, yeah, you start going for like odds and ends, like Magmar, Tangela, Ditto, things like that. And that's not really want, what you want to see. Hang on, time out. Final. How did, oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong spot on Pokemon Road. I was looking at Poketex, I'm like, why is Poketex a little higher up on Pokemon Road than Fury? But that's not the case right now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be in a second. Well, no, I lied. Fury is not going to be in the Evolve menu, um, but it did take Fury a lot less time to find a Ponyta. Um, so hopefully Fury can use that to start pushing, putting pressure back on Poketex. Exactly. Yeah, the thing with Eevee also is that you want to, because you get uh, you don't have the option of Arcanine after Lavender Tower like Pikachu has, generally Eevee players will end up uh, just menuing here to grab the Ponyta yep. and evolve it immediately. Yep. We'll see if Furious decides to do that here because his Machop is level 26 now probably. Um, mm -hmm. So if something else shows up immediately, he might just go for that and then party match also, a little bit later. Um, we missed while we were busy, you know, getting mad at Fury's JJ fight. Um, Iron caught a tower bet. Nice. So that's fun. Huge. 
Uh, that should outspeed Snorlax 100%. That's that's Zubat what Chuck's saying. Fast. Yeah. yeah. Tower Zubat, actually useful. Imagine. I've never seen that case. So good on Iron. Um, telling us a lot of cool things today, like Squirtle exists. That's always fun. Yep, I'll, I'll forgive Iron if he goes back to Rock Tunnel <laughs> and waits around for him. I just, I just want us to have a good race, darn it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that Fury can play out of his mind to catch up to Poketex, because I like seeing a good close race, especially this late in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And there's always the, the trio of equalizers that are, that are coming up in the, the last third, so we will see how Archer... So Duo, come in. back! Oh, come back, Bird. Need you. We'll see how those trainer fights go later on. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Almost missed it there for Fury, but managed to get it in the darn ball. Yeah, Dodo also on this screen for poke attacks, opts to wait for the attack, respect, and goes for the guaranteed excellent throw there. Yeah, we're all we're all getting to the Pokemon Road section, so, you know, we're all kind of evening out, and it looks like Iron's actually going to um, cut the bush, because Iron wants to eradicate. Yes. Um, so, so this is good. We'll be able to get the Dodoo and might evolve it immediately with that glowing Raticate. That could be spicy, actually. Yeah, just locking in those two catches here. Iron is going to have so many Pokemon by the time the Sea Scum split rolls, rolls around. So I think all of the runners are in that spot. Um, Fury is still going to be looking for um, one of the Pidgey and a Psyduck. There's a oh, Pidgey. There's the glowing Pidgey. So That's has nice. the Pidgeot now. Uh, if he decides to bring it in now and go to Pidgeot, probably the best course of action is to either let... It's probably to let Coughing sit in the box and then just... Or or the nine tails that he just unlocked yep. on his track. I was also yeah. just watching him. So yeah, Fury has decided to evolve the Pidgey twice. Um, so Machop will, will probably get there before or in Mansion. So we're going to look for that Psyduck on this route and we are going to evolve this Pidgey twice. Uh, so I guess if we don't see Duck, we do have Tentacle to fall back on. I don't like saying that, but you can, and it's not too much trouble. Speaking of um, Duck. Speaking of Duck. Uh, um, Jack's, uh, shaking his second control away accidentally and <laughs> Pikachu. giving Pikachu a little bit of love. We got a little before. face nuzzle or something there. Mm -hmm. Don't don't nuzzle. That's a 20% chance you'll get paralyzed. Do not nuzzle uh, the Pikachu. Oh yeah, 20 damage and paralysis. What's wrong with me? I don't want to be paralyzed. That sounds awful. That that sounds awful. Anyway, moving forward. Right. If we're Fury, we want to duck. If we're Iron, we just want to live our life. Um, it looks like Fury's going to give up on the duck, and we're going to go for Tentacle. And you know what? That's that's fine. Uh, we got to go fast. We got to try and stay apace with Poke Attacks and Iron right now. Um, lost a lot of time in those, on that terrible mid game. That was not Fury's fault. Just the game decided to say no today. Yeah, Pokemon Road is where I see a lot of runners just kind of. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but kind of waffle back and forth on whether they should stick around for things like Doduo and Psyduck, or whether they should move on. Just because it's the like the second to last major caching portion of the run, and it feels really bad to go into say Sea Scheme and Mansion and like have to rely on just rely on things to show up. But there's also something to be said about just saying like, hey. I don't see anything on here. I can't afford to waste any more time. We're just gonna go and hope that the game cooperates with me from this point on. Yeah, you, you never like having to get out of Pokemon Road going, mm, I need everything to spawn now. Uh, and that's just the way it is. That said though, um, both the both the Sea Skim route and Pokemon Mansion have enough spawns in them that you're probably gonna see what you need. Um, in fact, I'm, I see more tentacles than the Pokemon we're gonna be looking for in just over like a minute. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't hate that at, at all. Um, and coughing will be pretty common in Mansion as well. So, I think we're going to be okay for Fury. Currently, 48 planned just because I think Fury's going, I don't want to catch Tentacool. I don't want to. That doesn't sound like, like fun. If I have to, I will. I guess, if I must. Um, Iron, oh, Iron was looking for a pony that whole time. Finally got one. Um, still needs a Psyduck. Uh, and Poketax is also just getting sea skim. So um, Poketax slightly ahead when you factor in catches, um, but there's a lot of time for that to change. Uh, what I do like to see is that all of our runners are relatively close to each other going into th the new main section. Um, and I'm not going to sandbag this any longer. It's a Staryu. We're looking for a Staryu. Yeah. Notably, Iron, I think, can just go. 
Um, I think so. Let's see. Yeah, Iron, Iron just, just needs... needs one other two stage catch, and then he's good on. And the one. star, and that's it. Yeah. So uh, Fury got the instant tentacle. Uh, has enough ultra balls that he could probably YOLO if he wanted to. I would maybe wait a little bit just because I don't want to like. Yeah, that's probably okay, fine. And there it goes. Let's uh, let's let's take a look at our catch rate. Catch rate, tentacle, uh, U S R. Uh, 70%. It's That's all right. pretty okay. We'll take it. Um, it got in, right? That's what matters. That is um, what matters. And now we're just going to be on Star Watch on all of our screens. So we're going to do our best to look at the CP. CP is like an approximation of the, the total amount of stats that a Pokemon has. It doesn't mean much in the end because you could have really high CP and still have a bad special attack. Um, but we, we use it as like the, the initial gauge to see if this star is interesting or if it's going to be poop. All right, Pokedex so Fury floating we are along getting here. the wall water stone for Pokétex. That's a Magikarp Fury, not a star. That's another Magikarp. Come on, star. That's a Tentacool. All right, Come on. star? Star, star where are you? Modcheck? That's not a star. Mod That's a star. There's two, there actually. Two. So now, if, if you just got a bad... Is, yeah, this is, this is a better one. Um, 1062. That's average. Literally exactly average. All right, we take this. Meanwhile, Pokétex got end. a star at the very end of the route. Um, so, you know, the, the trouble Fury had was also matched by Pokétex having a similar amount of trouble. 1096 for Pokétex. Um, I think the max is 1150-ish. Um, so uh, this is a little there. little better quality in terms of stats, but this could mean that po like Pokétex could have really high stats in everything but what we need, which is special attack and speed. So we're going to find out how this goes. Uh, an Eevee for Iron, you love to see it. He's going to pick up that Psyduck. And then the only thing he'll need to catch is the star. So that's pretty nice. Yep. Iron may be a little bit behind, but has no catches to worry about. And that's always good. Instant right. coughing for Fury entering Pokemon Tower. Um, so, so Fury, Fury is, is also is done. Good. Yeah, nice. Fury is also done with catches. And Pokétex just hasn't marked star yet, um, but everybody's good. Now we're going to start looking to see if we can figure out if these stars are good based on the stats we see when our runners rare candy them to learn Hydro Pump. Please yeah, we'll evolve be... your stars. <laughs> Shout that out is to, not uh... is not a request. That is a demand. Shout outs to people who do not evolve their stars before Ted. Uh, you are all brave folks. We we love you, Yozarian. Um, even if you did it twice, it's okay. There's a Grimer party for Pokétex. Apparently, pollution's real bad in his part of the the world. So that's unfortunate. All right, here comes the big menu for Pokétex. We're going to reset our party, bring in everything that we need to shift the Star and Pony to the first and second slots. Uh, hopefully get rid of that Arcanine eventually. Um, but here we Let's go. Let's look at the Star. What have we got? We've got... Oh my god, this Star is goaded. Pretty solid. Pretty got, solid for Pokétex. That's a really good Star. Uh, we're teaching Hydro Pump, and we're 90-92 Special Attack and Speed, respectively. That's... Mwah. You love to yeah, see a star not, like that. We're not worrying about getting outspeed by anything on Blaine or anything Fury's later. Fury's star also really good. Um, very okay. similar speed and just slightly worse special attack, but that's a star that you can do the hard stuff with. Like, that's a really good star. Yeah, I think its special attack is, like, ever so it's slightly like just worse a little lower. than, than Pokétax. We'll see what Irons is uh, as he gets into As soon as he again. gets it. Yeah, no, that's... But, you love to see good stars in the tournament um, because it means that the runners have more play with the stretch that they do. They can look to finish out the run safely, or if it's a really close race, maybe they go big or go home. Yeah, hopefully go big and just continuously go big. Just like go big and one, then go big. Chancy and then go big. In, uh, one boat chancy in mansion, go big. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Uh, un, deux. Toi, the number after toi. That's, thank you. That's all I know in French. I'm Probably Canadian. Again. Omelette du fromage? Uh, yes. Enough of that. Um, we're offending all of the French runners in this tournament right sorry. now. <laughs> uh, I know I have a bad accent. I just, I, I never liked having to learn French in school. I didn't like being told what to do. All right, a star for iron. Uh, what is this thing? We have got 1057. 1057. So CP wise, this is not the best, but that might not matter. Um, and we're going to see 
We're, we'll see how it works. Um, honestly, I think we just tear out CP because last year it was a metric that we checked in the tournament. I don't even know if we're doing that this year. You forgot a word, Dynam. Listen, I accidentally a word all the time. Me too, me too. So, but that's uh, really have you met Ted? Uh, no. How, who's Ted? Uh, this this one dude with an electrode that likes to be really trolly and paralyze and crit things, and it's not great. We want to see Thunderbolt go into the Rapidash. If it goes into the Star, to the Starmie, that's totally fine, as long as it doesn't, you know, crit or paralyze. Both of these stars are good enough, such that uh, you can heal the star, and it can take a flamethrower from Magmar just fine, and you'll be able to get through both Blaine or Blaine, Surge, and Erica just fine without healing. Both of our runners uh, almost at the same place on Ted. Um, Book Attacks is just up one catch. So, very, very close race right now. Iron um, Star is notably slow. Ooh, uh, how slow? I saw 87 speed at 46. Uh, so, 87 is... speed is still fine. Um, that much speed is enough to exactly outspeed the Pidgeot. You might not outspeed, I think it's Blaine's Rapidash. Um, mm. But for the really risky fight, which is Rival 5, you're going to be okay. So I think the benchmark is that as long as you can outspeed the nine tails on Blaine, you're pretty good for the Pidgeot on Rival Five post Giovanni's yeah. gem. We'll take a look at the exact stats here for Iron in just a second. He went too fast uh, for me. Speed. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, so, so that'll that'll outspeed nine tails, which means it's fine for Pidgeot. He will tank okay. Flare Blitz from Rapidash, however. Not super dangerous though, thankfully. All right, our runners are all done their catches. Uh, so now it's just Evos. Um, of course, Fury has the most Evos to go through still. So a little unfortunate, but um, there is still plenty of time to make up the lost time between Pokétex and Fury. Uh, so no worries there. Now we're just going to go through the run. Um, Dynam, I'm going to refill my water. So why don't you just talk to the lovely chat about Quiz? Yeah. Uh, did you all know that TM28 is not, in fact, Tombstoney? And you can hit what's that on uh, the fourth question because that's I like doing up inputs when it comes to selecting things. And uh, yeah, at a quiz time, uh, spam it, please. Interestingly enough, all the trainers in Blaine's gym, I believe, have varying numbers of Pokemon. Obviously, we don't want to see any of our runners mess up the quiz. You always pick the first one for the first question, and then the second option for, the, for two and three, second or third option for four, and any option is good for five. Uh, but I have seen optionals on in recent races where people have more than one Pokemon, and that just feels really bad when you mess up a question. Uh, also, just watch Pika and Eevee's faces as like they get through the quiz. Like Pika is like totally locked in. Eevee's just like having a good time. Eve is just enjoying itself. Uh, Dojo going down for Iron here is fine. Can take the bed heal or revive it, depending on what strategy that he wants to use for blue. For blue, we definitely want Dodrio to drill peck with at plus two. I think drill peck on Dodrio works just fine as well for something that's caught on Route 16 as opposed to Pokemon Road. Yep, it should. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that still. <laughs> that, Eevee's just having a good time. Oh, shocked Eevee face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The face that Pika makes when you get a question wrong is absolutely hilarious. I love it. It's good. It's just like, yeah. yeah, it's just the blank stare love face. The blank stare. It's so good. OK, so I, I, I stepped away. Did um did Fury have a better start to this fight than Pokétex or? I actually missed the uh, whether Furious get confused Ray or not. Okay, it looks that's fine. Like, yeah, but it looks like Furious is, even though he was a little bit behind coming out of. No, he was he was ahead in terms of progression the whole way. So I think this is like okay. pretty yeah, accurate yeah. pace. And now pretty darn close to Pokétex in terms of catches as well. His Do Duo just is it going to evolve after this fight. Mm -hmm. um, and I may, we might see that for Pokétex too, but we're going to be back and forth for a little while. Um, and we have the, we're, so you may have noticed it's been a while since we've gotten any badges. Yeah, um, so this is, 
third badge. Yeah, this is our third seven. badge. Um, we kind of skipped doing Surge and Erica and Sabrina and Koga. We're just leaving Koga as late as possible because we don't we don't have 50 Pokemon yet. Um, but now that we have um, an overleveled star, we're going to go back and fight Surge and Erica. Um, and then we're also going to go to Sabrina. We're right about the right level with her. Um, in fact, her requirement is to have a level 45 Pokemon. Uh, and we only just got that. We were not close uh, before. Our Eevee was not even level 30 for Fury. So we had to we had to go make a detour so we could even get into Sabrina's gym. Yeah, until Pogotax like, had mentioned the fact that like, Sabrina doesn't herself does not have any level 40, 45 Pokemon. I was like, huh, never really thought about that before. Like, sure, the game devs probably were like, hey, we want to prepare you because this is like a little bit of a difficulty gap between Sylph and, and Sabrina, but yeah. still finding it a little interesting. Well, there's also like if you if you were an anime enjoyer like I was, um, Sabrina had this like really intimidating air about her. So I can see why it's like, oh, yeah, she's really strong. You need to you need to be prepared and like almost over prepared to fight her yeah. because she'll catch think, you by surprise. I think the Marsh badge uh, guard in Victory Road even clips at that scene like Sabrina yeah. she really is something, isn't she? Yeah, she, they do. And they also clip about Surge and we're going to see why once we beat this guy up. Um, nothing, honestly, like this section of the run is just us going to be talking so we don't get DMCA'd when this goes up on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, Dynam, what's your favorite part of this speed run? Uh, honestly, it's got to be the rock tunnel section. Um, really? Rock, Tunnel's rock tunnel has, it's more just so that there's so many things that you need to be keeping track of. You need to keep track of how much experience you have on your starter. Uh, it's also the most party management intensive portion of the run, I feel. Uh, because you still have all of your catches from Route 6, some of them might need to evolve, like Pidgey or Abra or whatnot. You need to be able to party manage well so that you have the minimal amount of menus. Uh, like, for me, personally, I do two menus max in in that entire section. One is to reset my party to get all the Pokémon in from Rock Tunnel, like Pachop, Zubat, etc. And the other one is just to mark right one, pretty much. Um, nice. The less time that you spend menuing and party managing, the better. And overall, I think that's like what has basically pushed people to like learn the run more, to enjoy the run more. It's just like there's so many different uh, different ways that you can optimize things, and when you put all of them together, it makes a really, really beautiful speed run. It really does. I, I find I don't have like a specific favorite part of the run, but I always loved when I was doing runs and I would get like a really clutch excellent on a throw or I'd get a Wumbo when I really needed experience. Just having like those weird chaotic moments that like wind up just being so good at the end and you're just like, yes, let's freaking go, as the emote would say. Um, and I just love that like, as you, as you see it go on, you can sit there during an Evo screen and you could go, okay, so now that this is happening, what do I need for this? How are my levels doing? Anything I need to go out of my way for? It's really good that this run gives you plenty of time. Like right now, Fury is like, okay, here's the tracker. I need to go and fight Erica, double check the notes, you know, take a sip of water. Like it gives you enough downtime that, yeah, you're stuck in a chair for three to three and a half hours, but at least there's enough downtime in this game where you can like reset yourself if you've had a bad fight. You know, uh, you can shake off the salt. Um, if you're etchy, you can just mash A with your Joy-Con and go to the bathroom, you know, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. From, from this point on, the speedrun adheres to more of your typical speedrun, Pokemon speedrun, where you just take your Starmie, you set up, and you go on the fights. There's less catching to do in this portion because we've basically all but done everything that we need to do unless you're going for a rogue Abra on Route on Route 7, for example, uh, or a Venom out on Route 15, but that's besides the point. Shout out to yeah. Luggy and myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this... Typical flowchart Pokemon speedrunning like pales in comparison to all of the scenarios that you have to deal with throughout the first two hours of this run because of like your levels, your party management, your experience, uh, your planned catches and things like that. And like we've said this time and time again, no two runs of this game are ever going to be the same just because of the amount of decision making that you have to do. And it's it's just such an intricate speed run. And I love it's it. It's a run that keeps you on your toes, um, even That's to the end, sure. because there's no such thing as a safe end game fight in Let's Go. Everything's a little bit spooky, so you do have to pay attention basically the whole time through. 
Um, and this last hour of the run, it's like, okay, the hard part is over. Now I just have to adapt to the stuff that like, it's not flow charty, but you, you kind of know what to expect. So you're pretty much prepared for any situation. Now, rather than like, you're, you're, you're done, you're just waiting for your Pokemon to evolve. Now you get to make the decisions of like, okay, how am I playing this? Am I playing it risky? Am I gonna just try and get through it? Am I gonna do a little bit of both? How close am I to PB? This, you know, Blaine is um, almost, almost like exactly an hour left in the run. So a lot of runners in this tournament, I know, they'll turn off the stream but they'll pull it back up around blaine to see where everybody is in relation to each other um so it's very possible that our runners are like okay so i know i'm close but it's like i know i'm ahead and i'm really close if you're poke attacks or if you're fury i'm almost on par with poke attacks but i'm not quite there so i'm gonna have to do some risky plays or hope for some really good um terrible trifecta fights um, which is a bad situation to be in you never want to hope for your fights to be good or if you're iron you're in good shape, but you are a little bit behind, so you have to kind of decide what you're going to do with that. Um, are you going to try and finish the run? Are you on good pace that you can just like turn this into a PB attempt? What are you going to do with this fun time? Are you going to hope that maybe both of our runners at the top stumble? Um, these are the kind of things that you would have going through your head right now if you're these runners. We are trying our best to talk as, as constantly as possible through this section, because this is where you always get DMCA. Yeah, we're we're almost there. We've got about like one and a half minutes left until like the next major thing happens. So we're we're gonna keep yeah. it going. Yeah, we're almost there. Um, I I had talking points prepared, but I didn't have them prepared for this section of the run. I have them prepared for later, which you maybe know you're was doing a great mistake. Phoenix. We we got <laughs> which this. Which made a mistake, <laughs> but it's okay. I because um uh, every time I do commentary, I always ask. It's like on a scale of zero to bingo, how meany, how like stereotypical are we doing our commentary today? And we decided on like a midpoint. Um. And I feel like we did too much in the early game for Bingo, and now we have to try and like the original in this last part of the run. So you know that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Obligatory. Uh, all Pokemon are cute. Yeah, all Pokemon, all your favorite Pokemon are 100% valid, and nobody should be rating. Grimer's so having, cute. Tihi. Uh, Garbodor as your favorite Pokemon or something. I don't know. It's not cute if you name it Shenanigans underscore. Mm. <laughs> uh, Dojo for Poke Attacks here. So he will be doing the safe version of the blue fight coming up. Uh, Rapid Ash wonder... is an option. Yeah. Dojo is an option. Magmar, unfortunately, not an option because nobody's caught Magmar. Though it is an option if you catch it, uh, and it's Lord. It is. Did you also know that uh, you can use Tangla for, for blue as well if you grab the Sludge Bomb TM that's on the basement floor as you're hitting the switch? And you teach Sludge Bomb to Tangela because Tangela now, has a Dynamo, special Dynamo, why would you do any of those things? I have done it once on a really why? bad run. <laughs> because the one was dead at that point. Then so I might as well have some fun. Jeez. Well, but the funny. I go for the funny I mean, things. Yeah, you do. Speaking of <laughs> which, I'm looking forward to the collage for rounds two and three. Oh, jeez. I we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if we get there. Been a little bit busy on my end, but we'll see. There's uh, been some moments, I'll say that much. Oh, absolutely. There have been so many good moments. I've I have not been watching a lot of the runs this round, uh, just because I've been not at home for a good portion of it, but uh, I will be looking forward to watching them back. Oh yeah, they'll be they'll be good to watch back. Okay, so we're back into inter inter interesting things happening. So po Blue meets us here and he's like, great, okay, so you have to go fight Team Rocket, but I'm gonna fight you first because I like fighting people, I guess. Uh, and he's got the one Pokemon that Staryu is not really built in the moveset that we use anyway to handle, and that's Exeggutor. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to take out one of our Pokemon, either Dodrio or Rapidash, uh, and use that to help us finish this blue fight instead. Um, so Dodrio is nice and clean. It's you have a Dodrio, you X attack and you drill peck and it kills. Um, for, for Rapidash, it's still going to kill when you use X special attack on the Fire Blast, but Fire Blast is 85% accurate. Yeah, I'm wondering too, because of Furious Death on Jesse and James 1, I'm curious what, how many... Uh, okay, it looks like he is using Rapidash here. I was worried that he wouldn't have enough X attacks here at this point. It looks like he ran out when uh, during the whole like EV death section of the run. Yeah, that might so have been when he to... decided to do this Fire Blast, actually. Mm -hmm. And it's no yeah. problem. He hit no trouble. Like, you, you always hit the Fire Blast. It's what easy. are you talking about? It's easy. It's easy game. Runners. 
Yeah. Sorry, Coco Runners. We make you cry. Yeah, we only have to hit one fire blast here. Y'all have to well, hit, like, 15. Yeah, but we try for, like, what, five pumps a run? Hydro pumps? Okay, fine. fine. And they're 80% to hit. Uh, and you don't always hit them. Fine. And even some of them are ranged as fine. Ooh, 128 special attack for Fury. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think that is, like, a... If that wasn't for the Charizard itself, that probably would have been a 1316 at 123. I think 125 is like 1516 to hit with Skull. Oh, okay. So you can save an X special attack there. And also save on happiness, because we don't want our star to be happy too soon during this run. Yeah, there was a couple of moments where you might have seen um, on super effective attacks, um, the Eevee or Pikachu turn around and face the, your screen, I guess, you, whatever. Uh, and that just means that you've got happiness up with it. Uh, and Happiness does some cool things when you're playing casually. It uh, has a chance to critical hit, it has a chance to survive on 1 HP if it was going to die instead, uh, and it has chances to expel par paralysis or other status effects. Um, sometimes that's useful in our speed runs, but of course the um, the turnarounds where like you turn around and you get super effective text is really slow for us, so we don't want that. Alright, so Fury is also starting Archer 2, which is one of the worst f fights in the game. This Cubone is AI, and it's going to be um, randomly selected uh, for the entire fight. Uh, we don't like that, because we'd rather be able to control things ourselves. Uh, and it's kind Electrode of is yeah. off the table now, and Electrode is in this fight is, is the biggest influencer of <laughs> really bad Archer fights or really good Archer It really is. Um, so the Muck protected, which means it w we weren't able to kill it that turn, but that's okay. It means it didn't do damage to us. Uh, and nothing really bad happened to Fury there. The Weezing decided to protect this time, but it got out of it now instead of doing it later. So the Cubone isn't going to be able to help us with anything right now. That's okay. This fight is still looking pretty safe. For Pokétex, we're going to see how bad this is. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully it's just the exact same or better. Uh, uh, meanwhile, on Iron Screen, unfortunately missed the pump, so probably will have oh, to and heal for the pump on, missed. That's on unfortunate. the fight. Uh, that is a T-Bolt crit into Starmie for, for Pokétax. Thankfully, no paralysis, uh, but is forced to now heal this turn while Electro yeah, probably goes to the next turn. If you, take a, if you take a Thunderbolt, your only option is to heal. Um, so we're going to have to hope here that the, the Electrode blows up, which it might do because Cubone did Boomerang it last turn, or um, hope the Cubone just kills it while we are healing here. Thank you, Electrode. It blew up. Um, that's really good. Does it take out the rat? Uh, it'll take no. up half damage to the rat, and a bone rang will all but guarantee a kill onto the rat Kate. I think it's a 1 in 20, 256 chance for a not combo a kill with it. Uh, shout outs to it's Iron nice. in this race, uh, who found that range out the hard way. It's literally a Gen 1 miss, go figure. It, yep. Oh, and Trace finishing off Raticate uh, for Fury Starmie as go? well. Uh, um, uh, don't worry about it. It probably just got Sucker go? Punch killed. It probably just got Sucker Punch killed. It's fine. It's fine. You get a free heal after this fight. Yeah, thankfully, uh, I don't think Starmie went down before it got two pokes worth of experience. Or before it lost two pokes worth of experience. If it lost more than two, you might have to consider... So normally you rare candy your star to level 49 after Sabrina. However, in certain scenarios where you have a bad Archer 2 fight and you don't have enough caches, uh, between when you get your star and when you finish the mansion section of your caching section, you might need to postpone your candy until after Caden so that you can get the extra speed to boost it to level 49 to hit the ranges that you need for the rest of the run. So we'll s keep an eye on Furious uh, Starmie's XP during the Sabrina fight for sure. Yeah, um, it basically if, his archer too. If Fury candies um, after level 48, as long as it's before Koga, I think we're in good shape. Mm hmm. Yeah, so hopefully that's the case. Fury very slowly ahead of Pokétax, but two catches behind. Um, so if you if you use the approximation that you know isn't really true, but we use it for runs and pacing anyway, uh, about a minute. Um, well, not a minute behind Pokétax, but that's kind of what that equates to. Um, so just a little bit behind in terms of uh, progress at the moment, but anything can change that. Um, Pokétax had a little bit rough Archer, but so did Fury. Uh, and then the next fight that is a little bit random in terms of how it plays out is about to come up once we get out of Sylphco and uh, through Sabrina. Yeah, Furious is definitely within our arm's reach of grabbing the lead from Pokétax at any given point. Yeah. So Pokétax does not have a comfortable first place by any stretch of the imagination just yet. 
Meanwhile, I see that Iron, um, I didn't see what happened with the start, but things are looking okay for Iron as far as Archer goes. Yeah, it We're was a very standard uh, boom protect start into uh, queuing. I think getting a crit bone ring hit on one instance of bone Ooh, ring. Okay. So as long as Cubone just presses bone ring again on the Graticate, everything will be fine. And boy, wouldn't It'll that be just nice. Be fine. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. You know, a headbutt that... crit also works too. We'll take that. Yeah, that works too. We'll take that. Um, I'm kind of surprised that the Eradicate went for Sucker Punch on the on the Starmie there because it looked like Cubone might have been in range to die there. But you know what? It's fine. We got a free heal. We're through the fight. Iron can't complain too much. Yeah, arguably, I would say that Iron's. Uh, I think the Iron's uh, Archer 2 is probably the best out of the three. <laughs> Go figure, yeah. So there's a chance even if Iron just has really good RNG and plays really well, plays 1C, plays risky, just doesn't have anything too bad happen, can also catch up to these two runners. They could be fighting it out with each other and then Iron could just slowly claw back time from them. And that's not really what you'd like to see. Um, yeah, we've, like, we've seen many scenarios where the, the leading two of the three in the pack just end up going for 1C strats because they're so close to each other. And then both of them ended up falling and then third place racer at the time can just rush right to the finish yeah so still anybody's race and will be for the next like 40 minutes uh go figure so that's always fun to see um okay so we're about to head into giovanni nothing really special here we're just going to use one x special and just kind of sweep up the fight um it looks like poke attacks because of the way the evolutions happened is a little bit ahead of fury again which is a little bit more accurate once fury's pidgey oto evolves into pidgeot um, will be roughly the same for all of the po all of our runners. Um, Iron's been at 48 for a while, so we might see a couple things even out in terms of Iron's pace and compared to the other runners. But again, there's still a lot of RNG that can happen. Um, we're going to see their shops right after we're done with Sylphco to see if we can get some insight into what they're planning for their end game. Right. Especially with it being so close, I wouldn't be surprised if all three of our runners uh, buy for one controller strats, but have the option to just flex into safe strats depending on what happened later. Uh, the notable things that we'll need to see are, uh, I believe, X defend for Fury, for as Fury. well as uh, special defenses for, for all of our runners. Yes, I think that's right. Um, and w yeah, I feel like if I was these runners, I think you're right, I think I would shop for 1C but be flexible in what we do when we actually get to the end game. Right. The The issue with uh, shopping for 1C but flexing to 2C is that I think, I believe Headstrong was the one to mention this because she's done so many two controller strats in yep. all of her, her PB attempts that it's only like six seconds slower if you count everything in terms of buying items or like not buying items, committing to 2C strats very early on. It only loses you about six seconds overall. So I think like every item that you purchase is like two to four seconds, depending. So yeah. that's just something to think about as we, even though that we might go into the Elite Four with 2C or 1C, we have to remember that there was a little bit of overhead in the shop beforehand. Yeah, given how close we are at this moment, I have a strong feeling that all of these runners will be going for 1C Elite Four until somebody dies. Uh, and then we might see some differences happening, in which case if you're, you're going to 2C, you're going to try and finish out the run at that point. Um, mm -hmm. and we're going to see what happens here. Um, also something interesting I was just thinking about right now is, uh, our runners have the potential to muck with other people going into this next round. Um, maybe Iron doesn't get any points and is therefore not able to compete in the next turn, in the next round of the tourney. But if, if Iron gets a really fast median time, he might be mm -hmm. able to mess up some other people's point values, which could also knock other people out of the tournament. Yeah, the way that the, the second place finish works is that if you're above the median time for the entire round, you will get two points. If you're below the median time for the entire round, you will only get one point instead. So uh, there's a lot of people that are kind of on the bubble that are like wondering like, all right, am, is my time this round going to beat the median time and I'm going to secure that extra point or am I going to get under there and maybe uh, be in... Uh, in bad straights for round four and have the possibility of getting eliminated from top nine. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting um, to see if what that comes into play. Uh, okay, we're going to keep an eye on the shopping. I, I expect to see that all of our runners are going to buy X special defense. Um, Pokétex won't be picking up an X defense because I believe picks it up already. 
Um, right. So yeah, buying the expedefs, which tells me we're at least keeping one C on the table, and that is no surprise to me. Um, if you're any of these runners, I think you have to go for one C strats just to keep yourself in contention. So Fury doesn't have the Pidgeot yet. I don't actually know. Is that concerning or are we going to see the it evil on concerning. Sabrina? Okay. Uh, it will evolve on Sabrina. The issue comes if you catch Pidgey on the C-Skim route, so like Route 21, uh, you must get at least about like 2.3 thousand catch experience um, before... Between catching it and the um, the final catch, basically, like in, in exactly. C-Skim Road and Mansion? Okay. Yeah, you need... Two, yeah, you need 2,300 catch experience, roughly, give or take a few, in order to ensure that the Pidgey that you catch below Pallet Town will make it to Pidgeot by Sabrina. Anything oh. else that's caught will be totally fine. Also, I'm wrong. Um, Sandy pointing out, actually, Poketex did not buy an X-Defend in Pewter City, which is where Pika will normally buy it. Um, so, Poketex didn't buy it in Saffron, I know that for a fact. That means he's going to be 2 seeing the Geo 3 fight um, for okay. the 8th the Gym Leader. So... I know that I saw Fury buy the X defense himself, so that might be a place where Fury is able to catch up a little bit on Poke Attacks. Yeah, um, that's going to be interesting. Has locked himself into uh, two seeing and then either healing or reviving Rapid Ash after the fight, which is going to give a little bit of time back to Furious if he goes for the the one C strat. Yeah. Also, um, Poke Attacks didn't mark them, but did get the um, the gift Pokemon Lapras and Porygon. So is it fifty? Um, at least we hope. We'll find out shortly. Um, but Fury is indeed at 49, hasn't evolved that Pidgeot yet. Iron is indeed at 50. Um, so as soon as that we see that um, the Pidgeotto grows a level, um, we'll know that Fury has all 50 Pokemon, and we'll get that confirmed when we go into Koga's gym. No kicked by Koga today, please. Yep, and Iron did end up buying the X special defense as well. So in case that... Fury and Pokétax are still the front runners coming E4. He still has that option to keep pace with them, just in case. You know what? I love it. I hope that um, I hope that the Caden and Caroline fights are such that we'll be able to like have this as balanced as possible. Because I just love a good back and forth in late game. It just makes right. this run so exciting. Interestingly, Light Screen turn two for Pokétax, which means that it's going to waste a turn compared Ooh, okay. to the possibility of a turn one Light Screen from Furious. Well, let's uh, see what Fury gets here. Yeah, in order to stall light screen, uh, you need to throw in that extra hyper potion for for poke attacks. Yeah, you basically you burn a turn by healing, and at that point the light screen will wear off. I missed it. Was it was it? This um, unfortunately, so Furious did get terminal light screen. Unfortunately, uh, use an X defense instead of the first X special attack, which means that he's going to need to adjust appropriately in order to no. make sure that he KOs the Mister Mind before light screen wears off. I wonder if Fury is used to the Tushi shopping right now, um, and maybe that's why that happened. Yeah. Uh, he should still be fine. Light screen has already worn off. It's just an extra turn on the Mr. Mime. Nice crit, by the way. Would have been really useful for the Hydro Pump instead, in order to make it uh, totally fine. Uh, mm -hmm. But Pokétax and Furious both end up getting an extra turn on this fight due to one reason or the other. Okay, so it could wind up being a bit of a moot point af at the end of the day. Uh, right. And it looks like um, we're waiting for the Pidgeot to evolve, uh, but it will. We we're fine. Um, Notably, the this also uh, forces Furious into two C strats for Giovanni as well. So they will be even one there defend? as well. Uh, yeah, Furious accidentally used Ooh. an X defend on this fight. And it was only the one that he bought? That's unfortunate. Correct. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. It just means that. Uh, a lot of the time that's to be made up will have to be made in Victory Road and E4 at this point. You know what? That's okay. Gym. So is it, we end up being fine for Fury. Fury got exactly level 48 in the last Pokemon for Sabrina. So on this menu, both of our runners are going to candy. They're going to heal. Um, Fury's going to get his final Evo. So we're at 50 Pokemon apiece. Uh, and then we're going to go into the first fight in Archer's Gym. Hey, Dynam. You want to talk about that? Uh, you mean Koga's gym, not Archer's gym? I sure do. I, it's basically Archer's gym. Who cares it's about basically Koga? Archer's gym when you really think about it. Oh boy, let's let's talk about Caden for for a little bit. So in both fights in Koga's gym, you need to set up one X special attack before you're able to uh, to sweep through the fight. For Caden, Caden has a Muck and a Beedrill. For Koga, Koga has four Pokemon: Weezing, Venomoth, Golbat, and Muck. 
Every Pokemon in Koga's Gym knows Protect. Every Pokemon in Koga's Gym knows Toxic. Uh, it's just a very trolly gym overall. And if you get Toxic or Protect or Minimize at the wrong moments, uh, you might have to improvise a little bit because that will waste you possibly a ton of time. Shoutouts to yeah. Furious, who I believe is the current world record holder for number of turns spent on Caden at, I want to say, like, 26, 23, something around there. Yeah, we uh, we, we joke that Caden and uh, Fury are best friends because they spend so much time together. Uh, and maybe that's the case, maybe not. Oh, well. Um, looks like Fury actually might be just a little bit rattled by that miss menu. Um, couple of little menu mistakes. Um, that's another thing, too, is that the race is a lot of pressure because this one actually has something on the line. Um, you wouldn't be able to go to the next round of the tournament if you aren't able to get a good enough points here. Um, and Fury had a couple of unfortunate mistakes there, and, you know, they can really spiral if you're not paying attention. Yeah, all you know, told, so. though, even through, like, all the mishaps on j, &J like, both j, j fights and uh, Sabrina, like, the fact that he's still, like, still in this is like, oh yeah like you said no this is this is fantastic fury is still doing a great job with all of the nonsense that happened to him before it just is like no we're fine um i like to use the um the c skim cutscene as just like a moment to be like okay we're almost there just a couple more things to catch and then we're just in the like the, the not easier part of the run but the part of the run that flows a little bit better um, at that point, you're not really like switching out your Joy-Cons very often, so it, it's just something that goes a little bit easier. Um, looks like Poketax had a very fine Caden. I'm gonna say that Fury has a four-turn fight. So that means that there will be like a one Protect that's wasted, but otherwise we'll go totally fine. Uh, well, and I think honestly, that's very reasonable. Point, we're manifesting three turns here. Uh, Poketax does get oh, the Protect from get four turn. so that forces four for him. And we'll see what happens here for Furious. Notably, I noticed that Furious has, I believe, 134 special attack going into this fight. And that Ooh, is okay. just enough special attack to guarantee both Skulled Ranges on Weezing and Venomoth. So he'll be able to save some psychic uh, points in that one. And that's, that's very important because yes. um, we're not we're trying to save time. So we're not going to be going to a Pokemon Center for basically the rest of the run. Uh, and we're going to try and just uh, keep our psychics all oh, perfect Kate, right on through Caden. Oh, we love to see it, thank goodness. Um, so we, we want to save as many of Psychics as possible because we need a couple of them on Victory Road, before, which is right before we get a heal. Uh, so the more things you can scald in this gym, the better because everything has Protect and they will use it all of the time. Have three turn for Caden or for Fury and minimize for Iron. This can get sketchy if you don't hit the Psychic. It's fine though. Fortunately, it's totally fine. Now, oh, man, this race is getting really close. Now that all the Evas have shaken out, we're like, all like one to two fights apart. This is spicy. Yeah, opening for Koga. Uh, we get the rare explosion, which <gasps> actually saves the turn. Oh, and no crit this, on the explosion, let's yeah, go. No crit on the explosion. Probably actually would have still lived a crit, it looks like, from that HP, just eyeballing it. Uh, but this is interesting because because Poketax's Starmie is at very low HP, it's very likely that all of Koga's Pokemon will see a kill on it and possibly opt to uh, go for an attacking move rather yeah. than protect. Um, That's I say beautiful. that and then cast his curse, uh, go back to attack, whatever. But, you know, yeah, that's that, really good. Holy crap. Yeah, at minimum, that saves a turn on, on Weezing. Talk about the rich getting richer. Yeah. That said, though, um, th this is still incredibly close. Um, now that um, Fury accidentally used his X to defend, Iron's the only one that can one see Geo. And that yes. can save quite a bit of time. So Iron is not by any means out of this yet. We could see Iron overtake either Fury or Poketax. All it takes is one mistake at this point, and our, or even not even one mistake, just one bad fight. And there's still mm -hmm. a lot of fights that can go south. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, considering that all three were at were in the Koga fight at the same time, just on different Pokemon, like that is like they're within probably like at maximum 35 to 40 seconds of each other. Yeah, strap in, folks, because this end game is going to get real interesting. Oh, yeah. Do you like pumps? I hope you like uh, pumps. I like pumps if you do it to Agatha. <laughs> Apart from Randall, I don't think I've recalled anybody else pumping Agatha this race. I want to say Kerbis uh, did, but I could mm. be wrong. Chat, correct me. I love being corrected. 
Yeah, I'm down to be corrected. I don't mind. We'll let them look it up while we, uh, well, we see Iron finishing off the fight, and, uh, oh, I see, both Pokétax and Fury did early teeth. How do you feel about early teeth? I am all, I'm all for early teeth. If I do late teeth, I will forget. I will 100% forget. I think that's forget. I'm on it, too. I think I'm on, I do early teeth, because if I don't, I'm probably just gonna forget. I think that's where I come down on this. Yeah, I have really bad short-term memory, and... This, this happens every time I'm on stream, I'll say something, and then 30 seconds later, I'll just completely forget it. That's just the streaming experience from what I understand, though. Honestly. I see that Iron is a late teeth enjoyer. All right, uh, so which is, you know, actually a little bit further behind than we had thought in that case. Just a little bit, though, but yeah. But not, not by much. Interesting. I saw that Fury was using just the Elixir over the Max Elixir. Uh, doesn't actually matter because Elixirs restore all the the um, the PP of all moves by ten, uh, and I believe that Psychic only has ten uses. So yes. it would have wouldn't have mattered either way actually. Uh, yeah. Probably just because the notes say save the Max Elixir for the Elite Four. Yeah. More notably, uh, under very 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 understandable that Furious opts to Elixir after Koga rather than before just due to the amount of <laughs> sheer trauma that I'm sure that he has had going through Koga's gym and using up all of your psychics. At the very least, if you Elixir after Koga, you can just reset your psychic management so you don't have to worry about holding that last psychic for the Venusaur in Victory Road. Yeah. Usually you'll want to Elixir a little bit earlier, that way you don't have to dip into the medicine bag on the, the Repel Fly to Viridian menu. It's just like a little bit of optimization in that regard, but Furious opts in to go for the safer play just due to experiences so to speak experiences with a little like tm sign in the corner mm -hmm. italicized yeah. tm bold <laughs> yeah exactly uh so okay we're entering the eighth gym uh and there's a couple of interesting things here um notably in this tournament if someone's died to giovanni they haven't really known how to get through this section here uh because it's weird it's not intuitive and i think it might be meant to trap you honestly uh, so that's fun. Um, the Tamer Cole isn't really a thing. You just kind of use a couple moves and he dies. Uh, but the next trainer is Samuel and he only has a Nido King. Uh, it doesn't die straight up to, um, to Psychic or Scald. You, you do have to 2C him to X attack and then get it down in one turn. Or you can Hydro Pump, but Hydro Pump is not guaranteed. And the Nido King has Mega Horn. So we're going to see who here one sees and who here two sees Samuel. Risk reward. Yeah, I always envision Starmie versus Nato King as this like cowboy standoff where like both both cowboys are like ready to draw their Hydro Pump and Megahorn, and both have a miss chance too. So like you could one could hit, neither could hit. We're just hoping that the first the first attack used here hits. Yeah, uh, looking like Pogatax is not taking any chances. Going to two C has a slight lead, and we're going to maintain it. Darn it! Um, so that's where that's going. Um, and I, it's, it's a tough call, uh, because we've actually seen kind of everything in this, in this tournament so far. We've seen the two C's, we've seen the one C's hit the Hydro Pump, we've seen, uh, one C miss the Hydro Pump, miss the Mega Horn. We've seen one C miss the Hydro Pump, get hit by Mega Horn, uh, and then die. And we've seen hit the Hydro, miss the Hydro Pump, hit, get hit by Mega Horn, and then live the Mega Horn by like 3 HP. So mm. a lot of things can happen here. And Fury yeah. is what I'm doing with the thought, which is one seeing Samuel. Good luck, Fury. I hope you hit your Hydro Pump. Yeah, at this point, you have to do what you can in order to put more pressure on Pokétax to go for riskier plays in order to- I 100% I respect this play. Um, I'm gonna guess that our runners have at least the um, the stream up and muted at this point, to, so they know how to play off each other. It hits the pump, no problem. Let's yep, go. So that's time saved. There you go. I think it's about nine seconds, uh, and we're pretty close in this race. I haven't been like timing to see how close exactly, but maybe I'll check with the tail slap on Geo. Yeah, Furious is one poke's worth of trainer behind at this point. Um, no, remember that both of them, uh, both poke attacks and they Furious do have to two C. They do have to 2C, it is forced. Um, I actually have not seen the defense on Furious Star. I don't, I. it's very rare that it can happen, but you can Iron have a also very- also one seeing Samuel, good luck Iron. Yeah, that HP, it looks like 123 or so, I don't think that's good enough. 
Uh, there are scenarios where you can have a good enough HP and defense combo on the Starmie to just press X special attack and go uh, right. to tank two earthquakes. It's not common, but we've seen it happen before. Uh, thankfully, um, Fury, plans the pump. F Fury, you forgot. Uh, I'm I'm sure that as soon as he sees his menu, at the latest that he'll re re realize it is that he'll see the menu and be like, oh, I might need to uh -huh. see. Yeah, Again, so... if you have good enough defense, this might be calculated from Furious, but more times often than not, if you don't have the X defense here, you will need to summon TC. Yeah, I'll have. To, well, I'll be curious to see what this was, if this was like, you know what, maybe I don't need to do it, or if this is like I have to, to try and keep up. Um, mm -hmm. I do see that um, Rapidash Ooh. lived for Poke Attacks. Yes. Okay, so he did forget, um, so he's going to pull out the 2C right now. It's slightly slower, but since um, Pokatax's Rapidash lived, uh, maybe it won't really make a difference. Yeah, um, if, and by yeah, yeah, if Furious Rapidash dies here, that actually will save time over. There you go. Okay, so, so there you small, go. Small blunder, but really in the end, kind of evened itself out. Right. Um, so that's kind of that's good for Fury. We will have to menu after this fight, but that's okay. Um, I think that uh, Pogatas will probably want to menu as well, regardless, just to heal up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and thankfully, we may have used all our revives, but there's a revive at the bottom of the Geo Gym. Hopefully, Fury remembers it. I feel like he will. Yeah. Yeah. If you take the spin or like the takes the spinner pads out to the right, the bottom rightmost item ball is a revive. Um, hopefully Fury will remember that. Iron is going in with 1C to try to make up that extra ground. Uh, that is still a lot of damage from... That is a lot of damage. Earthquake. Uh, Sucker Punch? Sucker Punch missing is good. And doesn't have to I've heal for rival 5. I've never seen that. I've never seen that go for Sucker oh, yeah. Punch. It has Earthquake, Sucker Punch, and Slash. Um, if you see Sucker Punch while you're setting up, great. Doug True is a fool. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, okay, go figure. Yeah, so All Iron right. making up a decent chunk of time here for yes. going for the 1C. And looks like Pokatax is out. Gonna, I don't know if Pokatax does need to heal. Maybe Pokatax won't. Uh, typically, if you 2C the fight, you because Rapidash lived, uh, I didn't see the fight exactly, but he probably ended up healing within the fight so that he, he doesn't did. have to menu. Yeah, and that is what happened. Now we just got to make sure that Fury... Uh, okay, so Fury does have a revive. That's fine, okay, then. Perfect. Oh, perfect. that's right, because he ended up censoring earlier. So he uh, didn't yes. use right. the so single didn't use revive, revive on either of the Machop or Keybone. So no, he that, still has that fine. in his pocket. So we don't right. need to worry about picking it up. Just healed in the gym. Um, so is about to go to this fight that Pokatax is on right now. Uh, and it looks like we're uh, just over like 30 seconds up behind, like 35, I think. Yeah, give or take. Um, give or take. And that's, there's things that can happen that can close that gap. So we're going to see how this goes. That said, though, Pokatax is going for it right now. Yeah, I think I saw 137 special attack on the Starmie, which wow. is much more than enough to get to past the Dragonite range, it'll be interesting, interesting to see what they decide to do on things that do have ranges, such as uh, Naomi. Do you want to see Naomi? Probably not if you're in Pokétax's scenario. In Furious, you have the argument of going for it because you do have a good enough star to hit that range. Uh, things like maybe you Hydro Pump the Hypno, maybe you go to plus four on Lorelei and you land the Pump on the Chinks. Uh, for Furious specifically, this is... Uh, I think it's pretty good in order to get a faster setup on Champ, and Pokétax might have the ability to go for a plus four on uh, special attack on Champ also, due to the fact that Jolteon, uh, that Pokétax just uh, KO'd on his screen, has a much higher special defense than the Raichu that you have to face in Eevee version. So there is yeah. that one extra turn of leeway that you have to consider during the end of the game. Yeah, that this Furious is going to be... This is going to be very interesting because uh, Iron's also well on the, their heels. They're all in the yeah. same fight right now. Exactly. Well, not anymore, but they were. Yeah, um, so, the fight as soon as Iron answers it. So very, very close. Um, you know, all it's going to take is some bad menuing in Victory Road, um, a bad Caroline fight, all sorts of things could go wrong here for any of our runners or even just like some misclicks along the way. If you if you do a, a bad menu too many times then that's enough for these runners to catch up at this point. Mm -hmm. All 
right. Poke Jack's entering the Victory Road badge checks. Uh, it is actually, I've seen, and I still do this to this day. I will like mash A like one too many times and then start <laughs> petting Rapidash. So we have to consider that petting Rapidash is indeed a time loss. It's true. I um I've taken to mashing B instead. So I tend to yes. I I'm a left quick Joy-Con enjoy enjoyer first off. Left Joy-Con, um, so, let's go. Yeah, so I um I usually will when I'm doing the mashing, uh, I will hold Z L and then alternate between A and B. Is usually what I do. Um, so when I'm going through this section, I tend to ease up on A and I just kind of mash B as fast as I can. Um, yeah, that way sure. I don't. That way I don't pet Rapidash by mistake, um, because that's just that's just unnecessary. Rapidash knows we love it. That's why it lived on Geo. Fun fact: X also works as a B input, but you don't want to it mash does. X uh, in, in case you like accidentally open the menu or something like that. Yeah, I've done that, which is why I don't mash X most of the time. Unless I know that, like, I'm in a very long cutscene. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So we're starting to push some boulders. Um, nothing, I mean, what we're about to see is uh, Naomi, but we did see Poketex summon the second controller there. So we're not going to mm -hmm. see anything particularly uh, dangerous on this fight, hopefully. Um, we're just going to do some X specials and try to kill this Kangaskhan. I'm curious if Fury is going to 1C. I, I don't... I If I'm going to save time, I don't want to do it on Naomi. I think Naomi is just a little bit too risky. It Yeah, it is. You Even with 2C, you still... Um, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold for a second. I'm not yep. going to say it. I, I I mentioned it, and it happened. You you can still miss the pump. In this case, you go for Scald and then a secondary... Fury is 1C. ...there. Um, this does increase the amount of happiness of the star, so we'll see if, as a result, Pokétax ends up getting turnarounds on Bruno instead of Agatha. And like you said, uh, fingers crossed for Furious that star makes it to the spot unscathed. Luck. Yeah, the this is... Spec. We got a crunch. A crunch okay. that is more than 50%, so you We're must go the pump. pump. And, Hits okay, the range. perfect. Let's go. Let's go. All right, that is... That is huge for Furious, especially considering that Pokédex had an extra turn on a 2C fight as well. Not to so mention now... that, but also mm -hmm. the level up in battle versus the level up in the menu. Uh, right. So that was another little bit of time wasted there. So Fury is clawing back as many seconds as possible right now. Yeah, yeah Furious is one Pokémon worth of time behind Pokédex now. Gets the good spinner cycle too, so... Uh, Man, this is, moderate... this is very close. Moderately rich get richer. Yeah, my, well, it's not, I don't even know if I want to say that right now because there's still a lot that can happen. Uh, it's yeah. unfortunate that for some reason, Let's Go is just dangerous fights, all the including Champ. Every single fight is just I, there's something bad that can happen. Yeah, uh, like even Iron, on Bruno. Yeah, it looks like Iron Pump also missed. So uh, just one see the fight and you won't miss your Hydro Pumps, people. I guess question mark. That's not how this works. Um, just just so we, we're clear. Um, that's not how statistics work. Nope. Uh, we have a statistics major for... in chat right now, and they will yell at me after the after my comms. I'm sure. Wait, we do. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you said physics, not statistics. Oh, sorry, statistics. Yes. <laughs> I'm statistics. like, where, where's the physics major? But no, you're right. Sandy's here. So. Any nerds? Nerds in my you? Pokemon speedrun chats? No. Imagine. Okay, so, oh my god, I didn't realize that Fury was so low health, but you know what, it's yeah. fine, we're about to get a heal. Yeah, you're totally fine as long as you're going into the fight with, like, 50 HP or above. Slowbro has nothing for you, and all he Hypno has are, like, Headbutt, and it has a terrible attack stat, or Psychic, and uh, you are Psychic, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. Yep, there's Officer Jenny, who is going to help us heal our Pokemon, and now we're feeling a lot better. Great. Mm -hmm. um, which is good, because it's right hydrate, in time. There's a fresh water that's alongside the spring to Officer Jenny's uh, left. That is true. There are some Lapras strats in the Elite Four that use that. Unfortunately, uh, I don't I don't think we're going to see Lapras strats in this race. I think we're going to see three one Cs. I, I would agree with you on that. I don't think any of our runners have the... Have the luxury, even Iron have the luxury to one C at this point. I or think 2C Iron. Rather. I think Iron could actually like come back here. 
it's close enough that if something bad happens, iron could make a big change. So I, Absolutely. I don't think anyone can afford to 2C here. Nice Alexa skip from Poketax. And now we're going to go to is trainer Caroline. Oh, goodness. Oh, what can I goodness. say about this what one? What can you say about Caroline? Well, well, when I think of Caroline, my head turns all around. As stoic as a geodude, she always stares you down. She sends out jinx. I start to groan. She's going to make me wait. I'll be done this race in 20 minutes, and I can hardly wait. Please clap. Thank you. I made that Please up five minutes Phoenix. before we started. Uh, good. Uh, so, <laughs> the, <laughs> looks like we got the Hydro Pump on the Jinx for Poke Attacks, which is, you know what, we'll, we'll take it. And uh, Ice Beam for Fury, so we're going to see the exact same thing happen, right? Exactly, we hit the pump, it's fine. Okay, so Caroline can actually be quite a bit of a troll, but in this case, it was nice to both of our runners here. Um, so, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, we're happy to see that. We see that um, 141 Special Attack for Fury, so Fury already has the range on Lance's Dragonite guaranteed. Uh, okay, so that's notably, good. these stars have the exact same special attack. 141 for both of them. This wow. clears plus four Lapras on Lorelei, and it also gives you a 14 and 16 Scald range on the Jinx, which is better than a 80% Hydro Pump. So I'm expecting both of them to just go for it. That's that's surprising and unlikely. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see like who like who's who in terms of AVs. That must have meant that Furious got an extra AV along the cycle. Apparently, because yeah. Because I do remember that Pokétax had one stat point above Fury. Uh, Iron getting a little trolled. You, you hate to see Lovely Kiss. Thankfully, no Ice Beam for the freeze. So just land land the pump in your. Oh, I missed the pump though. Uh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're just, just gonna hit just the second the, pump. Yeah, just land the second. See, pump in there your it fine. is. Yeah, easy. Uh, this race is bussin' chat. And yeah, so Sandy w in chat was saying, oh, you you know, Iron Carly could lap us um, just to try and do safety, but I think Iron's close enough that you won see here because all it takes is a couple bad turns on Agatha or maybe Lance. A, a lot can happen right now. We're not by any means done. Poketax is just entering the last fight in Victory Road right now. Um, one thing I am curious about is if someone might want to two see Agatha. Um, mm. That fight is when you two see that fight, you do a lot of the menuing that you would do after the fight in the fight, uh, and that makes the time loss pretty minimal. Uh, so it might honestly be worth it, maybe if you're Pokédex. I think Fury is probably uh, thinking you can't afford it, but it I don't know. It's tough because you know, it makes that at this so point, safe. like they are one Pokemon away from each other. I don't think either of them have the because if you go to C, you are essentially saying like, I hope that my opponent falters in some way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. and you you just can't rely on that at this stage in the game. You just have that's to hope true. that yours goes well, and that like that's the only thing that you can focus on. Similar to Iron, like with the possibility of two C Lapras strats, uh, there is a world where things go very wrong for Pokétax and Furious. Uh, not wrong enough to the point that they wipe necessarily, but like wrong enough that you can still sweep in with one controller strats at this point. I think. Do we think that Pokétax and Furious are close enough that this could come down to Power of Love? Yes, 100%. Um, yeah, Power of Love on the correct turn can definitely save many, many seconds on Agatha. I think like upwards of like 10 to 12, give or take depending on when it occurs. And I think uh, it's, what, 20% chance to happen each turn? Mm-hmm. So it's down to power of love, I think. So yeah. strap in, folks. We're going to see some real good stuff happening here in this Elite Four. Um, Iron was a little bit behind now because of the bad Caroline, but oh, we're, right. we, could still, we could still see something interesting happen here. So let's keep it moving. Okay, yeah, so Pokétex yeah. is taking Lapras out. That's bold. That is Doritos okay. bold, Pokétex. Wow, okay. Interesting here. Very, very That's... interesting. So, you, we'll see what Fury does. I'm I'm immensely curious, because we know Fury grabbed the floor resource, and he's planning on one seeing Agatha. Fury is depositing Rapidash and going full one C. No, that's the correct call for Fury. I think it's too close. You have to just go full hog. If you're Fury, Pokétax putting in the Lapras, I'm, 
I wonder if he's not watching and he's just trying to focus. Because I wouldn't have made that call if I knew how close Fury was on the heels. Yeah, I... This would also probably be a good time uh, if Tech is able to figure out like what the sync is to. That's the a good timer. point, actually. Um, I I just assume that they're all like pretty close to one another because, but. Still, shout this outs is, to Leggy Starscream on. Shout outs to Leggy. You're a great, Leggy. We love Leggy. We love Leggy. And congrats on the PB yesterday. Yes, huge congrats. Uh, yeah, plus huge four PB. from Pogetax that is expected. I'm expecting plus four here on Furious side. Yep. So this Lapras is guaranteed for both Pokétax and Furious, but it will be a 1460 on for both as well. Uh, Jinx doesn't really have a whole lot that can troll you. Uh, it will most likely go for Blizzard, which can be an issue if it freezes. Uh, we'll see what happens. Does hit the range on the Scald for, for Pokétax. We're getting to see that for Furious here. Iron, Iron locking is himself into one Rapidash. Strategy. Yep. So we're, we're going one C. We only have one possible two C. Because uh, yep. it, it's worth noting that Pokétax could have that in the party as just a backup in case something bad happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so the, then it, the time you would lose would be a couple extra seconds for Re Lapras to get re registered in the uh, Hall of Fame. So that's still time loss that could actually matter in this race. Like, we're it so is. close. We're so close that we might have to get them to go to the tapes regardless. That happened yeah. uh, between Etiquette and Sandy this round, and they were off by five seconds. Yeah, so Pokétax and Furious are clear for Lorelei. I am interested to see if Pokétax has Bruno turnarounds on, on Bruno. Uh, just because oh, I, I know that he has used more, uh, more X items on his star than Furious has on his star. Due to Furious, like, one seeing Samuel, for example, didn't have to pump the extra X back into... Uh, Starmie for Kangaskhan on Naomi. So that might end up making the difference here. And for every turnaround that you get from a super effective hit, you lose two seconds. Um, so we will see what happens when uh, Pokétax clicks Psychic on Hitmonchan. Also an interesting note for um, the sync. Fury and Iron are totally synced, but Pokétax is a second or two behind. Okay. So... All considering that's like one turnaround's worth of time difference yeah. between Furious and Pokétax, and no turnarounds for Pokétax. Got it. Okay, so yeah, I, I was gonna say I think it's actually like close. I think in this is like the standard um, item usage route for Pokétax. So mm -hmm. I think if anything, maybe Fury. I don't think this is gonna happen, but like if anything, I would expect Fury to maybe not have Agatha the turnarounds. That's not gonna be the case because I don't think that really happens unless you're doing like a Three, three plus one candy route, and who does that? Um, yeah, so... you have to save another rare candy from like catching like super sized magmar or something in mansion because every elite four member, every gym member that you have a Pokemon fight in, they get a massive amount of friendship, and that friendship is more than enough. Than like that's like five X items worth of friendship yeah. points, basically. And um, so... Iron is still very far behind. Uh, Pokétax is just wrapping up the Bruno fight, and it, Iron is just entering it. So. We're seeing the effect of 1C uh, happening here. The, the time to withdraw the Lapras is not insignificant. Right. So Pokétax is, because he has Lapras, he should just go directly into the fight without healing. Um, opting to heal here, interestingly enough, maybe not as familiar with the Oops, not strats. strats. Um, but Furious healing in this menu because he has no other option, going to go into Agatha with a one controller. Good luck, Fury. May you power of love on turn two, because honestly, that that will make this race so interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Pokétax's start here for 2C, you'll see him set up an x spec with Lapras turn one, X-Speed on Lapras turn with Lapras on turn two, and then with the amount of special attack that his star has, probably just Scald, Heal, Elixir, or Aether as necessary. Furious is going to be entirely dependent on what occurs in the first two turns of this fight. Well, we're getting... Oh, okay, we're getting... Um, so, Glare from Arbok on turn one, that's pretty standard for Agatha. Uh, and then what is not standard is you typically will use the full restore um, after you X speed on the second turn to mm -hmm. get rid of the paralysis and whatever damage Arbok was able to do to you. Getting yeah. Power of Love on turn one means that what you're going to do is you're going to kill the Arbok right away. You're going to use this X speed right now on the mm -hmm. Weezing. Uh, you're going to get Thunderbolt. You didn't get paralyzed, so you're Good. clear on Weezing because you're not within the, the quick attack range of the Golbat. So that worked out for Fury. It's not quite as fast as the second turn Power of Love, but we take those. Yeah, and arguably, like, 
we'll see once we get into Lance, but I think this puts Furious like maybe ever so slightly ahead of Pokétax, possibly even uh, right after Agatha. Uh, I think we'll have to see. I think we'll have to see after Lance because we do have to do all of the heals after right. the, men, the fight. So there's going to be um, there's going to be a hyper potion and there's going to be an elixir um, from Fury. Um, there might also be. Uh, this is the problem because like to see Agatha is actually like so optimal that it does it barely wastes any time, um, which is kind of crazy that you can do a two C fight and because you're doing all of your heals inside the fight. Um, you, you're almost like on par with the time, but Fury is actually through the fight faster than Poke Attacks, but does need to do the menu, so we're pretty close here. Um, the, oh the my, oh my that, gosh, is, Iron, that's this is oh bad, my god, uh, that Did is you get a much defense? defense drop. Ooh, uh, I'm bad. hoping that he has enough HP to live a crunch at minus one, and then uh, I think this is heal on Golbat. You have to heal on Golbat Iron. here, unfortunately. I think it does 24. Okay, so yeah, Fury Iron did the menu. Defenses, but this is almost assuredly a heal on Golbat for our quick attack range. That's very unlucky. This for is Iron. this is so close between Fury and Poke Attacks. I did notice that Poke Attacks didn't seem super familiar with the two C um rod with the with the two C like menuing. So mm -hmm. I noticed a couple of hesitations. That might be the difference here. Um, that might be enough to put Poke Attacks a little behind. Um, he did at least start rant Lance co correctly for the 2C. Mm -hmm. um, you, the optimal way to do Lance 2C is to actually summon the controller either on the second or third turn, depending on what, what move it uses. With Lapras strats, uh, you actually do want to go into the fight Oh, Normally. really? Yeah, because Lapis uh -huh. is so tanky that it can tank anything that Seedra has to offer, as opposed to, say, Doduo or Dodrio. Okay. So what we're learning is that Pokedex doesn't know the 2C strats for Lapras very well. Yeah, uh, this is probably an adjustment to, like, normal 2C sats, yeah. strats, assuming that you had Rapid Ash in your party. Uh, yeah. I'm paying more attention to you. It looks like Furious is through right now. Has yeah, set up I noticed that too, everything. which is really good to see because this Dragonite is a guarantee. Um, there's no range, um, so that's really nice. So Fury's through and at this point is a little bit ahead. Yeah, I would say that Furious is solidly in the lead at this point. And considering that Pokétax either has to go for plus four Psychic on Jolteon or is forced to... Well, I mean, you're, it, you're using Lapras either way, so it's going to be the 2 mm -hmm. fight. So as long as Fury's setup on Pidgeot is solid, and we'll see here what his special attack is. We want to see 149 if possible. 150 is perfect. Ooh, um, okay. Yeah, that means that all Furious has to do is uh, X special defense, X speed, X special attack. And if you're not in quick attack range, you go on on champ. Uh, oh, you this can is set exciting. up an X special attack on Vileplume to get to plus four. And that is a guaranteed psychic range against the Jolteon. Um, I wonder so if Fury will save or grab a bug before the champ fight just to be extra safe, but we'll we'll see what happens. At this point. Because yeah. he's just enough ahead that I could see withdrawing the bug. Um, for those who don't too. know, there was an er the earliest version of like safe champ was to withdraw something that you know would die, so like a bug from from the early part of the game. Uh, you would withdraw the bug, and you would use that as like a sacrificial Pokemon to give you um, a way better likelihood of surviving the champ. Um, so we're gonna see what Fury does here. He does need to heal. Uh, gonna do that now in the menu. We're yeah, gonna withdraw a bug. He is going to go grab that. I think that's that really butterfree. smart. I think that's really, yeah. really smart. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use the hyper potion. So that gives. I th I think from what you were saying, this is all the setup he needs. Yeah, so um, turn one is X special, uh, how does this go? X special attack, X speed, and then you, uh, I think, I'm not sure what go, the pitch right? range is. Let me take, I'm going to take a quick look at my notes. At what you, the if you Thunderbolt, is it a range? Uh, if you Thunderbolt at plus two, it is a range on okay. Pidgeot. Uh, Furious currently has a 12 and 16 plus two Thunderbolt range on Pidgeot. If the Air Slash goes into Butterfree, I think you have the option to X Special Attack one more time to secure the Psychic range on the Pidgeot. Uh, but that buffer room might be all the time Furious needs to secure this win. Yeah, I think that might be the case. Because um, I think, we're, uh, worst case scenario, um, I believe that Vile Plume always goes for um, solar, solar beam. beam to first turn it comes out, right? So you have a free right. turn of whatever you need to do if there's something wrong. Pokétex is notably playing Pikachu, which I believe means you have to go to plus six because that Jolteon is a tanky guy. Uh, yes, I didn't see Pokétex's. Okay, Furious is going to guarantee the 
the psychic range on here. Lives the air slash. Okay, Furious is through this fight right now. Okay, um, so now we just need to make sure we don't misclick on the slow bro, and that this fight's mostly over for Fury. Come on, Fury, you're almost there. Don't lose your head. You got this. Yeah, Furious. Like as long as he clicks psychic every single time, except for slow bro, he is 100 yeah. percent through this. Fight. I say Fury, don't lose your head. Anyone could lose their head right now. Like it, this is tense, and if if Fury is like glued to the stream knows exactly how close this is. Yeah, I think Pokétax, since Pokétax's special attack was like even or slightly ahead of Furious, uh, will have the plus four on the on the Jolteon. But as you can see here, Lapras being okay. out and having a second input here is is bleeding time. That is to that Furious. is much slower, yeah. So now it's pretty clear that as long as Fury doesn't misclick on the Slowbro, this is unfortunately over. Uh, yeah. And it looks like Fury's gonna take this one, which is uh, really spicy. Gosh, this um, is such a, a close what race. A tense race. Um, oh my god. The Pokemon is played so well. I think like Iron's on like 307, 308, and that's like the slowest time in the round. That's really good. All of these times I think are currently above median. Yeah. Iron is going to have to go the full gauntlet on the pitch shot here. It needs to step to plus four because I don't think his star is good enough to I haven't plus paid six. attention to Iron's uh stats here, but we'll need to go to plus six more than likely to secure the Jolteon range. And that's Fury through GG's. That's going to be a mid 305, which is fantastic. Yeah, GG's to Furious. And Pokétax is only one Pokémon behind him. So that's fantastic. Iron is setting up his last X special attack on the Pidgeot. Does not get crit by Air Slash. It's going to uh, Click Thunderbolt here to guarantee it. Going to set up one more X special attack on the Vile Plume to guarantee the range on the Jolteon. Excellent. And he he will be through as well. Really glad to see that we didn't see any tragedies in this Elite Four. If if this is how the race was going to go, it's dramatic, but nothing bad happened, and these runners are all going to have incredibly solid times. Like you say, nothing bad happened in the E Four. <laughs> I'm I am interested to hear from Furious on how the mid game went. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm just keeping an eye on the race time just to make sure here. Because we're about to be through for Fury and that's a 3.05.34 in race time. So really close to what's on screen. GG's to Fury. That's another three points. Yeah, GG's to Furious, GG's for Pokétax. I can almost, I don't know what the median is currently, uh, but this is, I would be willing to say that this leans more on the positive end of the above median. And holy moly, Pokétax finishing with median. a 305.53, 20 that, seconds. All things considered, that is, gosh, what a close race between all three of these runners. Absolutely Iron incredible. finishing this, this run out. Uh, with a 30, looks like to be a 307, like 20 or something. Yeah, it's going to be a mid 307. H huge, huge thing that all of the runs in this are going to bring up the median time. That's going to make a lot of people sweat for sure. Yeah, I, I told you before, this is the race that I was most excited for in terms of closeness and did not fail to deliver. And whatsoever. we have proved why for sure. Whew. Well, we see that I see that Furies does join us. GG's Fury, what a race. Yeah, GG's, GG. especially considering Thank you. everything that you had to go through on Jesse and James. You know how JT usually says, I love this game, and then I hate this game, and then I love this game? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much what I'm feeling <laughs> about this, this run. Oh, I what had a cool really good run. I had yeah. such a good run. And then. Yeah, walk us through, like. The, the ups and the downs of your roller coaster run here? I mean, pretty good nature. The first run of all I have, and not only that, it's plus attack. Um, Re very then, plus attack. I mean, I wasn't necessarily like high on catches, but I was getting pretty much like all the standard stuff to spawn. Um, so I was always like with 50 planned, which wasn't ideal, but um, it was definitely better than some of my runs sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just everything was spawning like um, on all the areas, uh, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, like a pretty good, pretty good run. I think, to be honest, I wasn't, I was kind of nervous about this one because I didn't really get to practice the entire week, um, and so I was afraid that I would just play bad. <laughs> 
Um, well, I think you played pretty I okay I, I in the end. I think I was playing like pretty well. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, after Tower, I wasn't playing as well for sure. Uh, it really like got to me just how insane that fight was. Um, mm -hmm. Even like, even with the like the EV dying on, what was it a hideout? Uh, J and J, uh -huh. I was still pretty much on PB pace. I mean, I don't like, really, I don't have like my my splits here because I, I accidentally compared it was running like my people my Pika splits. No. <laughs> so no, I don't really know what the comparison more like what, what the comparison was, but I'm pretty sure um, that was like pretty good PB pace um, at that point. It was like a really good run, uh, and then I want to say I lost at least two minutes on that tower J and J, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah, that was egregious, and I, I felt that center my heal afterwards. I was debating yeah. whether center heal was necessary. I thought, because like, well, to be fair, I wasn't sure um, what the Machop and Cubone levels were, mm -hmm. for starters. Uh, I think in, in retrospect, um, it was still, like, I mean, I think Machop was almost evolved, so it, it would have been fine to, yeah. yeah, it would have been fine to, like, Revive one of them, or revive I guess the the Cubone, and then do the Machop like, later or whatever. Yeah, we were we were the debating same the same time, thing. But the problem was I wasn't like I needed to catch a lot of stuff still, and in right. the end I had like a full party going into the, the gym rush. Uh, so yeah. I think it was the correct play to to do the uh, the center here. Yeah, I, the end. I I would agree with you on that. I think yeah, it's, we had the same either conversation. Center heal or you dump Cubone. Um, yeah, and, and you couldn't afford to dump Cubone. Odd catch count. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was pretty great. Um, and I see our other runners have joined us. Hey, Poke Attacks, GG's. Welcome in. Poke Attacks, Iron, GG's to all of you. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, what do you mean, no, sorry? I'm, <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Um, first, <laughs> what a run. I, I saw you got completely bodied by Che and Che. Um, and, you know, I, I was like, okay, he's going to have to come back and beat me um I, that was my strat i'm like okay i'm playing everything safe um there's a little bit of tournament strategy involved there as well um because i knew my time is going to be comfortably above or comfy comfortably below median so i'm like okay i'm gonna get my two points here i'm just gonna play this safe um and fury or or iron whoever they've got to come get me and fury did like that was mm -hmm. a, a very very good elite four i was <laughs> i was looking at, at, at his stream just as much as i was looking at mine that's um, what i yeah yeah I, but i'm like i this is my strategy i am not deviating from it um i said okay the goal is two points let's get the two points um you know what like i, I would have loved to have won um you know, there's some regret in not depositing when I caught that glowing cliff table. Uh, yep. that <laughs> yeah, just a little prob bit. Probably, you know, it was was, uh, was a, you know, that was probably the difference. Um, but, you know, I wanted to do two things today. One, I wanted to try and get try and get the two points and mission accomplished. Uh, two, I wanted to show a good run. And yeah. I felt like both of my initial, but both of my initial runs, you know, I got like a three eleven and then a high three oh eight. I'm like, oh, come on, I'm I'm a better runner than that. Um, and I wanted to show that, you know, I'm not just some random guy off the street. Like I can play this game, and uh, I think mission accomplished today. Um, so I would think I'm, so. I'm, I'm excited. For, I, I'm excited for round four. We'll see how it goes. I may come to regret that not not getting those that extra point here. Um, but you know, again, I would say the best runner won here today. Um, even the, you know, this was this was a classic. I, I hope you guys seriously did enjoy this as much as I did. I was I, I was like than like I had to go to the bathroom and I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, so <laughs> classic. I, 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 it's a, a real testament to this game. Uh, three very strong runners, and I, I'm happy we could put on that kind of a showcase today. It was, yeah, was it was telling, fantastic from our perspective. Uh, yeah, I was telling uh, Phoenix before we went live that this is the race that I was most 
looking forward to and you all delivered in in superb fashion so like well done to you pokétax for meeting your goals well done to all of you uh for and oh, uh you iron ggs um wanted to say hey to you as well um thanks for catching as many canto starters as possible <laughs> i tried you did what i could not and for that i applaud you <laughs> squirtle was so hype yeah. squirtle was extremely yeah. hyped hey between the three of us we caught all three Yes, we were, hoping, true, so. we were really hoping that uh, Iron would have seen the Charmander, but it did not show up, and it showed up for Poketax instead. But at least you caught the Charmander, and that's what counts. So complete the trifecta across all racers this, this race. Yeah, but uh, Iron, anything to add about your run, other than your weird Joy-Con moments? Um, yeah, that, that was, even though that was my best time of the tournament, I thought it was my absolutely worst, by far the worst executed run I've done. Mm -hmm. um, the, I flubbed so many catches through Mount Moon. I had to catch a Spiro on Route 3, or 4 rather, to get 15. Um, the, the Squirtle was pretty hype, and then Route 10 and Tunnel were horrible. Um, just completely garbage. Um, Messed up so many catches, was so behind on the XP, barely hit 28 for Geo 1, Geo 1 Rhyhorn on Pikachu. Like, it was my XP was that bad. Luckily, my attack was good, so it, it was yeah. okay. Shout outs um, to Rash Pika with six AVs and at attack in yeah, the cycle. You both had six AV attack, and that was pretty cool. That, yeah, the minus special defense was I've made J Tower J and J the scariest fight I could ever have imagined because mm -hmm. I got Power of that Love. such a scary fight on Midas. I got Bidef. Power of we Love for yeah. one. Bidef. And then you all did. Half. Yeah, so I, I got Power of Love. I guess he crit for, or high rolled the first turn and then the second time the Weezing actually knocked me to 8 HP. So if he, he poisoned me, I would have died. And mm -hmm. so that was, yeah. that was pretty bad. Um, yeah, I think I played okay after um, after Tower. Um, Kind of got uh, bodied by Caroline, so I it was much much closer yeah. than, than these times suggested, and I was going risky all the way. And even then, it might not have been enough, obviously. But yeah, it was I unfortunate did. that Caroline decided that you weren't going to play with her today. Um, just decided that you weren't going to win this one. Yeah, I lost a minute after Geo three, so it could have been far closer. Um, the star, my star was not great, but it was it was it was good enough. I just couldn't yeah. do the. It's just a passable star that will see you to the end of the run, but nothing more. Yeah. yeah. Any any final thoughts from our runners today? Oh, GG, thank you guys. That was that thank was. Thank you to Tech. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead yeah, GG, right. guys. That was a great race. I was. Um, I thought that was this matchup was going to be the closest matchup in this round. Um, I mean, we were all in Shamp been... at the same time, I think, right? So yeah, yeah. we were all at Koga at the same time. Yeah, go so, ahead, Phoenix. Yeah. Or, oh, sorry, no, yes, you were all in champ at the same time. You were right, go ahead. But yeah, anyone could have won this race, as I mentioned in the pickums. Like, I kind of just picked myself, because, like, I gotta, I gotta... We all pick, pick ourselves. ourselves. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta myself, for yourself. Right? Anyone, anybody yeah. could have won this race. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you to comps, thank you to tech. I look forward to watching this back. I mean, I... I you, you might say, oh, he doesn't want to watch that pack. He didn't win. But uh, this is, I, I look forward to to seeing just how well uh, both of you, Fury, Iron. I know there were some, some adverse moments for both of you, but I look forward to seeing just how well you guys played. It, 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 was, it was a classic, certainly one of the best of this tournament. It was quite the race, I will say that much. Okay, now I'm going to throw to Tech to let us know what's coming up next. Thank you, Leggy. All right, we've got, um, we had to reschedule the, the DGen race. Um, so at 4 a.m. Eastern, we're going to have Albi, Aspect, and Yaxo do their, do their race for this round. Um, everyone pray for Yaxo's computer. Uh, fingers crossed that that works okay. Uh, and then after that, um, also tomorrow at uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have Teapot versus Crisis versus Kerbis. And that'll also be a nice close race. I'm looking forward to that one. And then oh, yeah. sometime after that race wraps, they will do round four draws. They said yes. it might not be immediately after, but it should still be Sunday. 
Um, yeah. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That those draws might have a lot of implications on how um, on how round four goes and who ends up in the semifinals. So lots of excitement happening this weekend for Let's Go. Oh yeah, do not miss if you can stay awake for for some of these races. But definitely don't miss the races. Don't miss the draws. Um, it'll be really cool to see who ends up in that in that top nine, that coveted top nine position. There's a lot of races right now that are kind of on the cusp of that and hoping to to get their foot in the door for that. So it it'll be good. It'll be it'll be something to watch for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that's it from us today. So thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. And remember, don't play off OBS preview. Dang, God. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>